Hello everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome! We are back for some more of the Forever Lock Challenge here today with Pokemon Y version. Uh, yeah, hopefully everyone is having a great day today. Hey there, Duke! How's it going? Good to see you, my friend. Hope you're having a good day today. Um, but yeah, we're, we're back after after my uh, my usual day off. Uh, it, it felt kind of weird, honestly, yesterday because uh, ever since I got back from vacation, I had basically been streaming every day since. So, uh, like, I guess just because like the like you know the mental state I was in, like leaving the vacation and then coming home, it was just like, oh dang, I um, <laughs> uh, I, I I'm not streaming today. What do? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so that was pretty interesting, but uh, I feel nice and refreshed, which is good. You know, managed to take a day to just uh, kind of chill out and get some stuff done, get some housework done, that sort of thing. So uh, pretty good stuff there. Uh, in any case, though, we are back for some fun times here with Pokemon Y. Duke says it's going good. I demand love and affection. Aw. <laughs> well, it's lovely to see you, Duke. I'm glad that you're here. So consider consider that your, your daily dose of affection, I suppose. <laughs> hey there, Star Champ. Welcome. Lovely to see you. Uh, but yeah, so uh, we're going to jump into Pokemon Y here. Um, I have gone ahead and done a little bit of grinding in between streams, in addition to giving um, some lovely pets for our Pokemon caught in this playthrough. Uh, so, you know, we're, we're going to slowly raise that affection up over the course of the playthrough. Uh, I have gone ahead and leveled up the entire squad uh, to matching levels. I've gotten them all up to level 12. Uh, worked out very well in uh, in my favor. And uh, yeah, so we're all good and ready to go to proceed here. We should be... We should be basically fine now we have the experience share we're we're literally right on par with the gym leader we just defeated across the board so yeah we should be in good shape now uh but in any case here is scorch our lovely starter eventual breaks in holding the eviolite with scratch tail whip ember and howl uh we have uh bravo the eventual simi sage i think we said we agreed we were going to get it up to level 22 or so so something like that so that we can get seed bomb uh, and then uh, after that, we, we have a Leaf Stone ready to use whenever the time comes to go ahead and get that Simi Sage ready to go. So that's awesome. Scratch, Mind Whip, Leer, and Lick. Uh, we have Frisky the Delcaddy with Strength, Attracts, Toxic, and Protect, holding that King's Rock. We have Edna, the eventual Mightyena. Actually, not too far off from that Mightyena. Uh, I believe it's at level 18 that we get the evolution there. So yeah, very good. Uh, Thunderfang, to prote er, Thunderfang, Protect, Thief, and Toxic with the Expert Belt. Very nice. Uh, we have Bundle, our lovely little bunny friend. Uh, tackle, Double Slap, Leer, and Quick Attack. I love the name Bundle. It's so stinking cute. <laughs> but props, props to the one who came up with that. I don't remember exactly who it was, but uh, props to you for coming up with a fantastic name. I think it was Star Champ. I think it was Star Champ. But either way, Bundle is absolutely adorable. Um, and then of course, ooh, I was a spe speaking of good names here. <laughs> speaking of good names, we have the lovely Justin Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is. Something something hits real different about that name. I really like it. Justin Aaron with Rock Tomb, Earthquake, Headbutt, and Metal Claw with the Eviolite. Nice tanky little mon, so very good there. And that is our squad. Uh, it's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's just jump right in. We're going to move into this next route here, which is Route 4, of course, uh, where I do believe we're due an encounter. I don't remember what all we need. Uh, and I still have not prepared, um, <laughs> I still have not prepared my encounter tracker, uh, by any stretch, so, uh, I guess we're just gonna kinda wing it. Um, let's see what we bump into, shall we? Okay, we have Flabebe. Uh, do I need that line? I guess that's a good question. Do I need Florges? Uh, I gotta check. Uh, no, we have Florges. We have Florges. Uh, I have the whole line, yeah, because I have Daffodil in the Hall of Fame, and then we have Floria in the PC. Daisy is in Gen 7, uh, the Florges. So yeah, no, we are actually good on that line. I suppose I may actually have to double check and see what all is on this route, if we can actually catch anything or not. Um, Star Trek says I love this route. I, it, I feel that this route is very indicative of, like, X and Y, because it's, like, it, it shows off a whole lot of the features uh, of X and Y just in general. Uh, do we have a Letty Bot? I think we do, because we have, we obviously, we have Five Star in the Hall of Fame, one of my, one of my all-time faves. Um, but I'm pretty sure we, oh yeah, we have Liddy Ba. <laughs> we have Liddy Ba, the Letty Ba. Um, so yeah, no, do not, uh, do not need the Letty Ba. Uh, Duke says, also, 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 I'm in, I'm no longer gonna do, uh, Blind Lezlock with Scarlet and Violet. I have a new idea. Ooh, ooh, what do you, what do you have, um, what, what idea do you have, uh, Duke? I am curious. Um, actually, real quick, before I, before I, uh, get everything figured out, uh, let me, um, let me see what's on Route 4. Route 4 in Kalos. So, um, I, I, I may have blown the whistle a little early. Uh, I sent a message in the Discord earlier about Bulbapedia being back up, and for the most part, it seems to be the case. I have noticed, 
uh, since posting that message that I have seen an occasional um, problem here or there. But I think that they're they're working on it. I think they're working on it, and I think they've almost got it fixed. So that's exciting. Um, okay, so yeah, Lediba. Oh, there's Ralts here. Do I need any of the Ralts line? I didn't know there was Ralts here, really? There's that, yeah, 5% Ralts in the yellow flowers. I had no idea. And 5% in the red flowers, too, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, Duke says, I'm collecting streamers and YouTubers and I'm planning to do a rival playthrough. Ooh, that's fun. That's fun. You'll have to, you'll have to let me know about the details on that. Um, oh gosh. Hmm. This is... Uh, hold on, sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm, all, I'm, all, I'm all flustered this morning because I, uh, I ran into actually uh, some problems with my emulator this morning that had me all sorts of uh, irritated. Um, okay, we don't have Curlia. We don't have Curlia, apparently. And oh, then again, do I want to get Curlia in this? Do we, do we have Gallade? We don't have Gallade. Oh, if I could get a male, if I get a male Ralts, that would be pretty hype. Um, I would be, I would be down for the Gallade, but I don't think I want to get the Curlia here because I want to save that for Gen 3. Uh, oh, hey there, Secret Boss Sauce. Welcome. Uh, SBS says, uh, for question of the day, uh, which today's question of the day is, what's your favorite uh, your favorite remake, your, your favorite Pokemon game remake, and why? Uh, SBS says, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, because that, that bugged mess making the rounds on social media killed me. <laughs> I mean, that was that was a very comical time to, time to, uh, to be had, for sure. For sure. It was very amusing. Um, let's see, Skitty, Badoo, oh, sorry, I'm, I'm still trying to figure out what we're going to catch here. I think we have the full Badoo line. Uh, I think we have Combi and Vespaquen. Um, I think that, that Ralts may actually be the only thing. Um, <laughs> and it's kind of funny, because, yeah, if I bump into a, into a female Ralts, then I'm probably going to skip it. Um, but, yeah, I guess, I guess we'll look for that. Uh, Duke says, my, my new idea uh, is is called uh, Streamer Showdown. Basically, we do normal playthroughs with three or more other streamers, uh, Pokemon players, and we uh, we all fight each other in between gyms. And then after the league, we do our own uh, league to see who the champions of the new game. Oh, that's fun. That's fun. That's a, That sounds like a cool idea, Duke. I like it. <laughs> I like it. You'll have to let me know if you actually get a, a group together, and, uh, you know, maybe I'll look into that. <laughs> Uh, Sergeant says, but Mega Gallade, also a better move pool, I think. I don't think Mega Gallade's in this game, Star Champ. I think that's an Aorus exclusive, if I remember right. If I remember if I remember when my Megas came out. Oh, Yumi is here, but Yumi cannot hear me because of an ad. Thanks for the ad sense, though, Yumi. <laughs> okay. I wonder how long it would actually take us to get through. The thing that sucks is that it's only 5% chance on the Ralts. Oh, uh, hey, Yumi. I, I assume you could see now. You saw the buggy friend. Uh, welcome, Yumi. Thank you for the AdSense. <laughs> um, we looking for we looking for uh, male Ralts uh, as, as an encounter. It's the only thing we want. The only thing we want here. Wait, I was sponsored by Dinosaur Movie? Neat. <laughs> like the Jurassic whatever. Cool. Yeah, I know there's lots of buggies here, Yumi. How are you doing today, Yumi? Sleepy? Sleepy as usual, I assume. Uh, Duke says, I currently have four people looking, uh, uh, for, looking for four to eight people. Ah, cool. Awesome, Duke. Awesome, awesome. Uh, okay. What? Should I? Hmm. I'm trying to decide how I want to do this. Like, should I just, like, start trying to advance? That's the thing. Is there's not really grass that I have to walk through in this area. So it's just, like, I either have to find the Ralts or don't, <laughs> basically. Oh, you're just out grocery shopping? Oh, did you get anything tasty, Yumi? Well, yay, Skitty. I think we have... Do we have regular Skitty, right? Like, just normal, normal Skitty? I know we have, um, Del Caddy, obviously. Yeah, yeah, we have Meow Mix. I forgot that we caught in white, too. Yep, do not eat a Skitty. Yeah, I don't. I was gonna say I haven't watched any of the Jurassic Jurassic Park. I've seen Jurassic the original Jurassic Park, and I saw the the first sequel way back when. I did. I saw part of the third one and fell asleep during it, and I have not seen anything after that. The the those new, those new Jurassic Park movies just do not look at all. They look so generic to me. That's just my take on it. Those those new ones aren't connected to the old 
move like I think didn't, didn't I thought I remember hearing that like the first like new one that they made was supposed to be like a retcon sequel to the fir to the first Jurassic Park where like two and two like Jurassic Park two and three just never happened and and then like that was supposed to be like a sequel to just the first one is that I thought I thought I heard something to that effect I don't know the details though like I said I love the first movie it's a great it's a great film but I wouldn't call myself a, f a fan of the franchise or anything. Yumi says Jurassic Park is frightening in the dark. All the dinosaurs are running wild. It is, yeah, no, that first, the first movie, like, yeah, watching that, like, late at night is, is that, yeah, kind of scary, because they're big and scary. They're literally giant monsters from the past. SPS says, when you fell asleep, did a raptor look at you and call you out, <laughs> call out your name on a plane? Oh, was that something that happens in Jurassic 3? <laughs> I don't, I don't know what song you were quoting, Yumi, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not very well versed in really anything. Is there really Ralts here? That's crazy. I, d I never knew that there was Ralts on this route. 5%, that's what it says. Oh, it's a, it's a dream sequence? That sounds, that sounds weird. <laughs> that sounds really weird, SVS. Who thought? Who thought of that idea? I wonder. I wonder if I can, I'm gonna break into some speed up real fast if that's all right with 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 all y'all. Break into some speed up and we'll hopefully find this Ralts a little quicker. Uh, Cyrus says, I haven't ever finished Jurassic Park, at least uh, since I was five. Does it have jump scares? Not really. The first, the, oh, I can't speak on, like, the new ones, but uh, the, the original movie, not really any jump scares, per se. Uh, there's some some parts of it that, that are kind of tense, like, like you know, like, it is kind of quiet, and then, like, the dinosaur, like, sneaks around. But I wouldn't really call any of them jump scares in the, in the like, the traditional sense. There's definitely tense moments, though. I was gonna say, you, like you know, like you can take take it from me, Star Champ, as as, as the resident resident weenie. <laughs> I can't handle like horror movies, like really in any capacity. Uh, but I can watch Jurassic Park comfortably. So like, if you're worried about like watching it because of like it being too scary, um, I'd say you're probably fine. You're probably fine. Like if I can watch it, then pretty much anyone can watch it. <laughs> There's a Ralts. Okay, what do we got? Ah, oh, it's female rats. Rats, rats, rats. I was gonna say I could technically catch it. I could technically catch it, and it would be I could make it a Curlia, because uh, we do need a Curlia. But that's the thing is I really wanted to save Curlia for for Gen three. But maybe I should. Hmm, what do you guys? Or uh, excuse me. What do you What do you folks think? Uh, should I Should I just catch it and make it a Curlia, or should I Or should I run away and save the Curlia for Gen three? Just you, 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 you all know what I've what I've mentioned in the past. Just like Gen three is very sparse on Pokemon in general. So, like, I usually like to take any opportunity to save Pokemon for Gen 3, but at the same time, it's like, man, <laughs> it's a Curlia. I want it. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Sergeant says, yep, that's why I ask you. If you can handle it, it means that I won't get sick watching it. Yeah, yeah, you're probably good, Star Chan. It's a good movie, too. I highly recommend it. it the first one, I mean. Uh, all the rest of them, you can probably skip. <laughs> at least I have. Um, every okay, everyone's saying save it for Gen 3. Okay, cool. I'll do that, then. I'll do that, then. Sorry, Ralts. Luck of the draw on that one. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, okay, so now we can carry on as normal. How funny would it be to run into a male Ralts right here? Nope, okay. <laughs> I just thought it would be a funny idea. All right. But, uh, but yeah, no, uh, uh, a good amount of yesterday, not all of it, uh, but a good amount of it, I, uh, I spent working on the, uh, the new battle decks, uh, for the Discord, um, uh, which I've been working very hard on over the last several weeks, and, uh, as I, as some of you may have seen in the announcement today, um, I actually, um, I, it will probably be finished today, I have just a few more entries to put in, and, um, and then I just have to go through and uh, you know check all check all my work, and make sure that you know I didn't miss anything like s stupid or whatever. And uh, yeah, if if all goes well, um, the new battle decks is going to be li uh, going live sometime probably this evening. Um, so I hope I hope everybody will look for. I know it's like that, not that exciting, 
But in these in these trying times where Bulbapedia goes <laughs> goes down like at the drop of a hat, and there's hardly any you know place like reputable places to go to for information, um, it it can be a useful resource, um, which is nice. <laughs> so um, I hope I hope that y'all will uh, appreciate it and use it. I did I did work rather really hard on it, and it's like not that important, but at the same time, it's just I don't know. It makes me feel nice to have accomplished something cool. <laughs> Uh, SBS says, "Oh, I settled on Liz's encounter and battle theme for the music thing." I'd be, oh, cool, cool. What did you, what did you come up with, uh, SBS? Also, I should probably switch just in case this thing has water moves. Uh, let's go into. Oh, we don't have any grass move. Well, no, no. Oh no, we have vine whip. We have vine whip. I forgot. I, I learned it uh, when I was grinding. Oh hey, hey, it's it's Melon. Hey, it's been a, yeah, it has been a little while. Welcome, lovely to see you. How are you doing? I'm glad that you're excited, Star Champ. That makes me happy. Yeah, it did have a water move. That was a good call then. You're gonna leave it as a surprise, SPS? Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, our attack is pitiful, unfortunately. We got the we got the reduced attack stat on Pan Sage, which feels kinda bad. But oh well. It do go that way sometimes. Uh, Mel says, I'm good. I've been growing up my hair and got some feminine glasses. Oh, that's uh, that's awesome. Congratulations. I'm sure they're very cute. Uh, I'm doing okay. I, um, I, I just, I, I got back from vacation a few, or like last, this, this previous weekend I was on, I was on vacation, visited my folks. And then, um, and then I just got, I got back and I just, I just been kind of having a good time streaming since then. Not really anything has changed, to be honest. I've just kind of been vibing. <laughs> Uh, so just, uh, speaking of, I wanted to clarify to check a Pokemon you type Dex. N yeah, that that is correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, you would uh, you would just type it. Yeah, uh, th the word Dex D E X and then the Pokemon's name, all one word. So yeah, no space between them. Just so like you know, Dex Clefairy, all one word. Um, and yeah, that'll pull up that'll pull up that entry. That's also how it's gonna work for the um, for the battle decks as well. You'll be able to uh, type in. Uh, you know, uh, Dex Brock or, you know, Dex, uh, Dex Giovanni or whatever, and it'll work the same way. Um, so yeah, uh, just helpful little, helpful little, uh, little shortcut for those of you who use the Discord for referential purposes. Um, I, I use it constantly. I've been using it, like, as I've been, like, building it and, like, referencing it while we're, uh, while we're playing. <laughs> I've been using the, the, the hotkey and it helps so much. It saves me so much time. Because instead of having to go to Bulbapedia, type in Brock, scroll down the page, look for his, you know, w whichever game is relevant, um, you know, that whole uh, shindig, I can literally just type in Dex Brock and all the entries are just right there on Discord. It's really helpful. <laughs> uh, Starchamp says, and you type that where again? Uh, so it's, um, it depends on which version of Discord you're using, Starchamp. If you're on PC... All you have to do is is go to uh, the top right corner. There's a little search bar. Uh, you just type it in there. On mobile, um, here. Let me look at um, let me look at mobile Discord real fast. On mobile, so you what you would do is you would uh, go to the Forever Lock Discord, swipe uh, swipe to the right, and then you'll get the little search button. You click that and then type that there. Um, so that's what it would be for mobile. Uh, okay. Anyways. <laughs> Uh, Yumi says, "Ooh, what if someone made a Twitch bot that allows us to pu uh, pull the pull them up in chat? That would be awesome, Yumi. That would be absolutely rad. <laughs> I don't know how uh, how feasible that would actually be as like a thing that someone could do, but if someone could figure it out, I would love that very much. <laughs> that would be so incredibly helpful." Yeah, I love I love the idea of it, Yumi. Definitely. No, you don't, you don't even have to be in the channel, uh, Star Champ, um, for for using that. It doesn't. You don't have to actually be in the ch in the um the checklist channel or anything like that. You it lo doesn't matter which. You just have to be in the Forever Lock Discord. Uh, so you could be in any of the any of the uh, the the chats or anything like that, like the the uh, community chats. Uh, just and just type in yeah, just Dex whatever, and it'll 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 still come up.
Yeah, a Del Caddy! Yeah, we got a Del Caddy! Well, can I? <laughs> Yumi says, I may need to do some research. Well, hey, if you want to put, put in the initiative, Yumi, I'd be very grateful. I'd be very, very grateful. Anything, if, if you if you wanted to contribute something like that, I would be eternally grateful. <laughs> It'd be so cool. Uh, did I already fight the other roller skater? I'm uh, a little lost. Is she running away from me? Aha! There you are. Amount says, uh, speaking of Superman, did you know that there's uh, something called pink kryptonite that turns Superman homosexual? I have heard of that. I don't know I don't know if that's an actual thing or if that was just a gag, but I have heard of that. Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, SP says, more accurately turns, into a, turns him into a homosexual stereotype. Yeah, okay, yeah. So I... I figured it was something like that. Was that like an uh, was that like legit SBS? Was that in the comics or was that just like a gag a gag comic someone made? All right, Fletchling is down. S SBS is our resident uh, comic books expert, so I, uh, I I go to them for um, I go to them for anything anything comic book related that I need to verify. <laughs> oh, it actually happened! Wild. <laughs> Nice, DC. Way to go. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Um, all right, we got more trainers. Let's, uh, hold on. Let me, how are we doing here? Um, Justin Aaron is level 13. Um, let's swoopy swap to, uh, let's put, uh, here, let me rearrange a little bit. Let's put Frisky out front. Do Frisky as our next one. Alright, Agnes with the Burmy. Oh, protect. <laughs> nice. How obnoxious. Alright, Burmy going down. Oh, I did hear about that as well, Seeker Boss Sauce. Yeah, what a weird, <laughs> yeah, what a weird, weird path for the, the story to go in that in that one. I did hear about that one a while back. That's very silly. <laughs> All right, let's do. I guess let's do Edna next. Wait, I thought. Wait, wait, wait. I thought that I thought Clark and and Supergirl were I thought they were cousins. And I might think of a different Supergirl cuz I know there's multiple. I don't know. <laughs> you'll have to let, yeah, you'll have to let me know what what's up with that. I might yeah, it could be that I'm thinking of of like a a different Supergirl. Oh, yeah, yeah, why you remember that. Oh, God, I hope that's not what they did. Okay, another Burmy. You got this, Edna. Okay, so it's just... It's just a vague memory of something that, that could have... That could possibly be being misconstrued. God, I hope so. <laughs> okay. Another burn me down. I think these don't have any bug moves. Alright, let's put Edna out front. And we'll fight this kid. Got the Magikarp. I think we can handle a Magikarp. <laughs> oh, a little spacey today. I need more caffeine, honestly. Like I said, I was having some issues with the emulator this morning that I don't usually have. Uh, 
did wind up fixing it, thankfully. Uh, well, fixing, quote unquote. All I did was um, <laughs> I just turned my computer on and off. Uh, I, for some reason, uh, I updated Citra and then it just refused to like, like boot up. <laughs> I was like, oh no, I didn't do anything. Um, so yeah, but I turned my computer on and off again and now it works. Granted, I, of course, that's the last thing I try is like after I've tried many, many other things. Let's see, 60 power on Thief and 60 power on Bite. I think I would prefer Bite though. I like the flinch. I like the flinch. Um, but yeah, so that was really annoying this morning. I spent like a good few minutes before stream trying to get that worked out. Kind of obnoxious, I will say. Alright, and I'm going to put Bravo out front. Uh, Cypher says, okay, I googled it. It turns out that they did get married, but it was an alternate universe Superman, not Clark. Okay, well, at least there's that. Was it like, when, and so like alternate universe in that like, you know, is like completely not related to Kara? Because it's kind of important. <laughs> Okay, cool. Well, that's good, Star Champ. <laughs> that's good. Okay, Ooh, Fury Swipes. Uh, probably not. I mean, I could take it over Scratch, I guess. Yeah, why not? Why not? No reason not to. Oh, the Pink Kryptonite was a one-off joke? Okay, well, at least there's that. <laughs> at least there's that. Mud slap. Uh, yeah, why not? Uh, I think mud slap. I think mud slap on my bunny friend. Gorge hits level 14. Very cool. Ooh, flame charge. Heck yes. You can absolutely take that. I'll go and grab whatever item this is. Ether, very nice. Oop. I didn't mean to walk in the grass, oopsie. I'm gonna go fight these other trainers before we meet up with Dexio and Xena. I think that is a good call. I was gonna say, I, uh, I also, it, it occurs to me, we're probably gonna be choosing another starter today, um, because I actually totally forgot, uh, that that was a thing. Um, I suppose I could have made another poll for it in the Discord, but I guess we'll just do this one in real time. Um, so that'll be interesting once we get to, uh, Lumios. I forgot about the, we get the free Kanto starter as well. Kinda neat. Uh, okay, who do I want out front? Uh, we got 13s across the board, looks like. Uh, let's do, actually, Bravo's fine. Bravo is fine. I think there's at least two more trainers on this side, I believe. Alright, we got the Badoo. Can't really hit that with anything on with Bravo, unfortunately. Yeah, a little swiffy swap. Uh, let's go into... Um, I guess just Frisky. I was thinking, if I can't hit for super effective with Bravo, it's basically not even worth going for the physical moves because his attack is so low. <laughs> Alright, cool. Badoo goes down. Oh, hey, Casper. How's it going? Happy time. Wait, happy time zone? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I'm confused. What is what 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 does time zone mean? I'm confused. Has something changed about the time? It's 
not like daylight savings or something, is it? <laughs> but if it is, I probably missed it. <laughs> uh, okay, and then there's a gardener up here, right? Or was that actually was that actually the last trainer? Oh no, yeah, there's a gardener up here. Okay, cool. I remembered. But yeah. Also, hi, Casper. It's lovely to see you. I hope that you're doing well. Corfish. That is a job for our lovely little monkey. Uh, Yubi says, that's just a way to say good morning, afternoon, or evening, etc. to everyone regardless of time zone. Oh! Real? I've never even heard of that. That's, that's, a, I guess that makes sense. I guess that makes sense. Thanks for the, thanks for the, the info, Yumi. <laughs> I've never even heard of that. That's cool. I usually just kind of, like, roll with it, like, regardless of what time it is. Because it doesn't, I mean, <laughs> it's like, I was just like, if someone tells me good morning and it's, like, 9 o'clock at night, I'm just like, yeah, I'm sure it's morning somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, that makes sense. That makes sense. Oop. Okay, and then I think we can fight this one, well, this one guy right here. Can I walk this way and fight you? I can tell by the look on your face that you just love Pokemon. Oh yeah, yeah, comics are weird. Comics are super weird, Melon. <laughs> but... They, in just the amount of, of weirdness that they have, um, there's also many awesome things in comics that makes me want to, to actually give comics a proper go. <laughs> Starchamp says, quote, it's nine o'clock somewhere, quoting me. <laughs> nice, Starchamp. Pikachu wants to fight... Uh, eh, Bravo could probably fight it. That's probably fine. Yeah, after this fight, I think I'm probably gonna go grab a, a quick, quick cup of coffee because I really need it. I was gonna say I, I don't really I, re I don't really know enough about like what's what's what what you're uh, what you're talking about SPS to really comment much. Sorry if I've been like kind of a little on the silent side about it. I just, I'm just not familiar with the with what we're talking about. So just like uh okay. <laughs> so sorry in case you were wondering why I, why I haven't commented much about the the, the comic book talk. Just I don't really know the context, so I don't really want to say anything. <laughs> sorry. not the sort of thing that could really get uh, get really put into the chat and like have me like fully understand the su the situation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I know I know I know Dick Grayson. Yeah, I do know Dick, I do I know Dick Grayson, the the the, the first Robin. What I what I what I mean as far as the context thing goes is just like I don't know like the context of like the writers of the comics their personal opinion, their political ideologies, like that sort of thing. I don't know any of the context for any of that kind of stuff. So that, that's why I haven't really commented much. It's just I, I don't want to just say something about something I have no I, no information on, like, you know, to, 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 I have nothing to substantiate it based on. <laughs> SBS says, Liz, all you need to know is the DC Pride Superman story didn't deliver and people aren't happy with it. I see, I see, fair enough. Fair enough. Now I I have I have that much information. <laughs> See, I didn't even know that that was a story. I wasn't sure what we, what exactly we were talking about. So just shows shows how uninformed I am on comic book comic books and you know their associated dramas. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, let me put Edna out front, uh, and then uh, yeah, real, really quickly before I before I carry on here with the story, uh, I'm just gonna go get a ref uh, another refill on coffee because uh, yeah, like I said, I need some caffeine. <laughs> Uh, I'll go and stand by for just a uh, just a moment, folks, and then I'll be back. And we can continue. So stay tuned, everybody.
Okay, everybody, I have returned, and yeah, I, uh, I, I was gonna say, yeah, if we're getting a little too dark on the, on what we're talking about, yeah, let's, uh, let's dial it back a little bit, yeah, I, I appreciate the mention there, Casper, uh, yeah, no, uh, uh, like I said, um, uh, <laughs> let me, I'll just, I'll just kind of reiterate, just that, uh, one of the rules that is in, like, the little, like, Twitch, you know, chat rules thing is to try and keep things positive, try and keep things light, um, yeah, no, it's, it's okay if we dive into it a little tiny bit, but if it, if we, if we're getting to the point where, like, yeah, folks are starting to get uncomfortable, that's probably where we, uh, where we want to kind of want to cut that off, so, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, no, no, uh, no hard feelings to anyone, to be clear, just, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's dial it back a little bit and keep things jovial and chipper. Uh, let's talk to Cena and Dexio, shall we? Hello there, have you heard of a Pokemon called Flabebe? Oh, I see. It's registered in your Pokedex. That's what I would expect from one of the professor's hand-picked by or hand-picked Pokemon trainers. Flabebe is now race yourself a fairy type Pokemon. Fairy type is a new Pokemon type that was this turned the entire type matchup system on its head. And we've been battling fairy type Pokemon against other types of Pokemon at Professor Sycamore's request. My name is Cena. It's a beautiful name for a beautiful lady. I'm Dexio. Two years ago, Professor Sycamore entrusted me with a Pokedex. You could call me a Pokemon Voyage veteran. If you'd like, I'll show you the way to the lab, so come along now. Okay, let's get the show on the road. Uh, Mel says I've started playing Dual Destiny. Awesome! Yeah, Ace 35. Yeah, 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 for those uh, for those not in the know. Yeah, uh, I hope you've been enjoying it. Dual, uh, Dual Destinies is one of my faves. <laughs> I like it very much. Yeah, it's them. <laughs> there they are, Cena and Dexio. The characters that are like weirdly appreciated by game freak and yet weirdly underutilized <laughs> like they appeared in two games in a row despite having very little like actual importance to anything <laughs> it's just bizarre so how are you and puchietta getting along the more you walk around with your pokemon the stronger your friendship will become here this is the tm for return this is a move that gets more powerful when you when your friendship with the pokemon using it is strong Woo, we get, we get return. Very good. Right through this gate, and you'll be in Lumia City. Go on already. And here we are. The big funny city. Ooh, Citra, Citra having a, <laughs> having a hard time loaded in. I don't know if you all hear that, heard that. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I always get tripped up by that. I'm always just like, oh, like there's a little, oh no, Ugh, hang in there, Citra. Uh, there was like, there was like, uh, it does the little panning shot with the cutscene. It always throws me off because I think that the cutscene is still going, and I just sit there and wait, and then <laughs> Serena just stands there for like two minutes. So I was just like, is something gonna happen? And I'm like, oh wait, I have control. Oops. <laughs> Very nice. Follow her that way to the lab. Oh. Remember, remember when this was like like the peak of like Pokemon graphics? Doesn't it feel so weird in hindsight? <laughs> like this was like when this came out, like back in what was it, 2013 or something like that? This was like insane. It's just like, oh my god, look at this city! It's so big, crazy. And then like, yeah, like just a few like few years later, we got Sun and Moon, and now we got like Sword and Shield and Legends Arceus. It's just like, yeah, this isn't quite as impressive as I remember it being. <laughs> It's the, it is the city with Gogo. You're right, Casper. If, 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 I always feel bad for Gogo because I feel like that's the the ride Pokemon that they like advertise the most with this game, but it's also the one that's like incredibly optional to use in this game. So it's like ho like almost no one actually rode the Gogo. I think I've ridden the Gogo exactly one time ever, just because I was like, how do you ride the Gogo? I found out how. I rode it, and I was like, this is really lacking. <laughs> You've traveled a long way from Vanneville Town, but you're finally here. The professor can't wait to meet you. You can find him on the third floor, so hop in the elevator. All right. All right. Audit also, there's an audit though on the wall. I want this painting. Can someone get me this painting? Okay, thanks. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, so the third floor. Uh, sorry, it says I use the taxi more than the goat. See, that's the thing is like the taxi kind of invalidates Go Goat. <laughs> it's like the whole point of Go Goat was to get you around the city faster, but you could just take a taxi. <laughs> so it's like, why would you? It's slower and cumbersome. Yeah, it's cool to ride a Go Goat, but only for like the first few minutes. <laughs> Fantastic, you're here. Come this way, won't you? Also, prepare for more of Lids can't do a French accent. 
<laughs> Many thanks for coming all the way from Vandyville Town. I am Professor Sikimore. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. How is your Pokemon journey going so far? Have you met many different Pokemon? Fantastic! Let me have a quick look at your Pokedex and see. Hmm, you've seen 42 kinds of central car- blah 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 blah. Yeah, okay. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, Casper says you utilize Skiddo more- I know, right? Yeah, no, you ride the, the Skiddo across that entire route, and it's just like, okay, cool. <laughs> uh, Tig oh, Tiger's here! Tiger says I'm gonna go shower, and then I'll be here to hang- Hey, uh, take your time- take your time, Tiger. We'll be here for a little while. We only just got started a little bit ago. Oh man, has it already been 40 minutes? Holy cow! Uh, well, I mean, still, we'll be here for a while. <laughs> well, now, you do have a certain je ne sais quoi. I can never say that right. You know, I have a good feeling about you. At first, I was thinking of choosing only one child from a town when I was decided to give a Pokemon to. In Vanneville Town, it was going to be the child of a veteran trainer I know. And then I learned about the Rhyhorn racer Grace and her daughter were moving here. Here in the Kalos region, you are far away from everything you used to know. That really hit me right here. Then it hit me. I should give you a Pokemon and have you travel around Kalos. Hi, Professor. It's Shauna. Hey, girl. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Fantastic. Now, let's all have a Pokemon battle. Your opponent shall be me. Ooh, we gonna fight Professor. I think he leads with Bulbasaur, right? Oh, I forgot to go heal. Wait, uh, hold on, Professor. Just kind of hang out for a sec. <laughs> I gotta go heal. <laughs> hold on. I thought it was, I thought it would, like, auto-heal me for some reason. I gotta go do that real quick. I think, I, now that I think about it, I think the cutscene literally told me, like, you can go heal at the Pokemon Center and then meet up with the Professor. And I kind of dropped the ball there. Luckily, the, the PC is literally right here, so we're good. We are good. Ooh, dynamic camera angles. So exciting. I always fi I find it particularly amusing how, like, <laughs> how, like, Game Freak takes, like, these, like, itty-bitty baby steps when it comes to, like, graphics and stuff like that. Or, like... They were like, ooh, we've got dynamic camera angles for the Pokemon Center cutscene. And then just like, yeah, like uh, like three games later was when we finally have like actual proper like, you know, 3D graphics and like, you know, dynamic camera and controllable camera, that whole thing. <laughs> it's just little itty bitty baby steps. <laughs> uh, Sarah says, I want to uh, make a, a pull for the starter. Uh, what would you think? I would say Candy. I thought, I thought it was only, I, think you, I thought you could only do two things in a pull, Star Champ. Is it not? Is it three? Can you do three? If you could do three, I would love that, Star Champ. Uh, Yubi says, the Skiddo are super cute and fun, though. Wish that they were more than uh, the one route. Yeah, no, I mean, the ride Pokemon in Kalos were very much, like, prototypes for ride Pokemon, at, you know, that, that, that are in, like, Sun and Moon or um, uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Because, yeah, like, it's it's definitely way, gotten way better. I hope that ride Pokemon, like, in, like, the way that they are in Let's Go, uh, make it into uh, Scarlet and Violet. Limit, limit two is predictions. How long should I make it for? Um, I was going to say, like, uh, we got to actually fight Sycamore. So how about just, like, three three minutes? Two minutes. Okay, yeah. Let's do two minutes. Two minutes. Um, uh, as soon as the poll is live, uh, Star Champ, let me know. I, I think it'll just pop into the chat. But as soon as the poll is up, I will start the fight with Sycamore. We'll fight him. You got it, Star Champ. Yeah, this will be fun. This will be fun. Yeah, we're gonna decide which of the which of the Kanto starters we're gonna take from Sycamore after we beat him. Which I guess just for posterity, I'm gonna send out Scorch to deal with that Bulbasaur. I was gonna say I actually don't even remember how to actually set it all up, so I'm kind of relying on you on this one, Star Champ. <laughs> Um, why don't we just do votes, Star Champ? Just, just votes. Let's, let's, uh, let's, let's, uh, let's nix the Forever Locks tokens for this one. Okay, just get you, get your mouses ready, everybody, or whatever. Uh, you, you know, get, get your fingies ready to, to put in your vote. <laughs> cool. All right, I see, I see it. Let me, I'm gonna look at it real fast. Can I vote on this even? Grass Dino Frog, Fire Lizard, Water Turtle. Very nice. Okay, cool. I am going to battle Professor Sycamore. So yeah, well, uh, I guess we'll, we'll presumably be done with this, the poll by the time that um, by the time that the Sycamore battle is over. <laughs> so 
So cool, real time voting. Yeah, get your get your vote in there, everybody. In the meantime, I will deal with Professor Sycamore. Vine Whip. We'll finish you off with an Ember. Very good. Ooh, almost level 15. Justin Aaron hits level 14. Yeah, must be the yeah, must be the predictions. Yeah, <laughs> cool. Yeah, go ahead and vote, Star Champ. Go ahead and vote. I say I, I, I presume I can probably vote too, but I'm not going to, because I usually don't in the starter polls anyway. So. Uh, SBS says, so who's the worst of the of the of the professors? Um, I don't know. I like them all uh, a good amount. I I mean, if I have to pick one, probably Elm, just because he's kind of meh, and he kind of gets like he kind of gets like um. He kind of gets cucked by Professor Oak in Gen 2, <laughs> like in a, in a, in a you know in a meta sense. <laughs> um, he like anything that like a normal professor would would handle, Professor Oak just does in Gen 2. Even though Elm is the Jodo professor, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, probably that. Ooh, the poll has ended. The poll has ended. Ooh, we're doing the turtle. Wait, hold on. I can't, I don't think we could do turtle. Um. This, this is a problem. We probably should have verified this first. Don't we have the whole Squirtle line in the Hall of Fame already? <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> um, so that's a problem. <laughs> I think uh, I think we might need to do another poll. <laughs> we already have the whole Squirtle line in the Hall of Fame. We have... Um... <laughs> that's really funny. Uh, yeah, we have uh, we have Koopa, we have Wardo, and we have Ludwig. They're all in the Hall of Fame already. <laughs> um, do another one. <laughs> do another one, but with the the proper the proper knowledge. I didn't do anything. It was I I I I didn't. I mean, I should have said something. I just kind of wasn't thinking about it. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's really funny. <laughs> Uh, that's silly. Uh, okay, hold on. Uh, Charmander's coming out, I presume. Let me go into let me go into Frisky. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. All right, give the Charmander the strength. There we go. It's down. Yeah, let me, let me, let, I'm going to look at the, the, the thing again. So yeah, uh, we need a Charizard and we need uh, Ivysaur. Those are the only Kanto starters we still need. So yeah, basically it comes down bet to between, um, yeah, Ivysaur and Charizard. Yeah, Cas exactly as Casper says. Um, yeah, we need, yeah, we need Ivysaur or Charizard. So um, I was going to say, do we want to try to do that pull again with just those two? Let me see if I can figure this out real fast. Open a setup. Here, I'll try. I'll figure it out, Star Champ. Uh, Charmander or Bulbasaur. Charmander. Bulbasaur. Oh, did you already do it? Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What do you right here? Who does Lydia deserve? Ivysaur or Charizard? Okay, cool. Yeah, that works. <laughs> okay, I'll give that a couple of seconds here. I think I figured it out. Figured what? Figured what out? Bits, you are an interesting Pokemon trainer indeed. It'd be fantastic if you took another Pokemon with you. Here, pick one. Okay, yeah. So <laughs> I love how like Charizard is like kind of listing to the left there. <laughs> it's just kind of funny. Like he's giving me the stink eye. I guess it's because he would look at me at the start like that, and uh, that would be a little awkward looking. He does look kind of derpy there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so it'll be between these two. Sorry, Squirtle. Yeah, one of these two. 
Uh, oh, in the meantime, it um, looks like uh, Melon has uh, redeemed Lid's Pokemon opinion. Wants to know my opinion on Hisui and Lilligant. Um, I like it. I like it. I definitely like it conceptually. I love the whole, like, dancer aesthetic that it has going on. Admittedly, I'm a little underwhelmed by its design. I wish that it was more, like, flowy, if that makes sense. Like, I kind of would have liked if it had, like, I don't know, like, I guess there's, like, longer tassel leaves on its, like, um, like, skirt dress situation. You know what I'm talking about? I wish that it was, I wish that it had, like, more, um, I guess, I, I guess it looks just a little derpy, in my opinion. Not that that's a bad thing. I wish it was more graceful looking. Uh, it just kind of looks, I don't know. I, I feel like I would want more from it. But that being said, I do like it. I do like it. I think it's fine. Um, I just think it, it ha its design has room for improvement. So there's my take on Hisui and the Ligant Melon. <laughs> um, but yeah, okay. So how long did you set the poll for, uh, 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 Star Champ? <laughs> okay, there it goes. Okay, so it looks like... Okay, yeah, it looks, it looks like uh, we got... Uh... Yeah, Charizard. Charizard is the win. Charizard is the win. So in that case, we will take this Charmander. There it is. Charizard is the winner. <laughs> Party is full. Choose a po- I don't- well, okay, just temporarily. Maybe this is what I was mixing up for the black and white thing, that it just like auto-forces the, the Charmander on your team. Yeah, yeah, no, like I said, I, I like it well enough. I think it's a cool addition to, to, like, the regional variants and all that stuff. I think it's, I think it's super nice. I like it. I just would have wanted it to look a little more, um, graceful as opposed to, because it definitely looks agile, which I think is the intention. Um, I just wish it looked a little more graceful, because I think it could have done a, a good mixture of both. Uh, between, between it and regular Lilligant, I do prefer regular Lilligant. Um, but yeah, let me just temporarily put Justin Aaron away. We'll go get Justin Aaron back. I love how the game just assumes, oh, of course you want to use one of the Kanto starters. Ooh, Sarchamp suggests a uh, question of the day. Uh, I'll go ahead and get this one recorded for a future uh, a future stream. Thank you very much, Sarchamp. Suggests, who is your favorite professor? Yes, very good, very good. So I will get that written down. Thank you, Sarchamp. Uh, okay, so uh, we have a male Charmander, it looks like. Uh, it will be a Charizard. Um, I was going to say, I, I, I traditionally have a very poor time nicknaming my Charizards. Um, let's see, what, what have been our previous Charizard names? I know we've had a couple. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, no, we just had Cindy. We just had Cindy the Charizard. Yeah, we, we had a female Charizard that one time. Um, but yeah, so uh, I am open to any nickname suggestion for Charizard. Uh, Yumi says, it's a ballet design. Uh, ba ballet dancer. I like the design. Yeah, no, I, I yeah, no, I, I get the, I definitely get the, the reference. Like I said, I just kind of wish it had like the longer, like kind of ballerina, like what's, it, what do you call it? The, it's not a skirt, but you know what I'm talking about? Like the, the big, what the hell are they called? The, the, they, they kind of look like, uh, <laughs> they kind of look like, um, tutu. There we go. Thank you. I couldn't think of the word. The tutu. I would want it like to have a big flowy leafy tutu. <laughs> Uh, name it Leon. Ooh, that's actually not a bad idea, Casper. Leon. I think we had a Leon, though. Like, I, I think it was, like, unrelated to the character Leon. Didn't we have... Um, here, let me... Oh, God. This is actually gonna be kind of hard to find, because it's gonna pull up every page on Leon. <laughs> no, I don't actually I don't think we... I don't think we do have it, then. I'm looking at it. I'm looking at the list here. I don't think we have anything named Leon. That's actually not a bad option. Um, <laughs> name it Tutu. <laughs> Liz Lizard Leon. <laughs> uh, very nice. Uh, oh, Melon answers the question today. Says uh, that the that her favorite remake is BDSP. I think it's a cute game. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it, Melon. Torchwood suggests SPS. Not bad, not bad. Lizard Leon is good. I think I'm just going to call it Leon. I think that that's a nice, easy name. Um, it makes sense. We'll go with Leon. Here we go. We got Leon the Charizard. This is your chose Charmander. I'll give you this Mega Stone. Hey, we get the Charizard right away. Very nice. I don't, I mean, unless something happens to one of our team members, we're probably not going to actually use Leon in this playthrough, but he'd be, uh, it'd be a great addition to the team if that did wind up happening, though. <laughs> Come now, you two. Pick your Pokemon. I don't know which one to pack. It's so difficult. It's okay. Take your time. 
Well, I've got every I've got a feeling everyone else will show up soon. Wow. You your feeling was spot on, Professor. Hi, Professor Sikabur. What's this? Everyone is already here. See? Wonderful everyone's all here. So now that we're all here, I'd like to say a few words. Jeez, word variety, you guys. Get better. Get better. <laughs> Be the best trainer you can be. At the same time, remember to, to have fun traveling with your Pokémon. Also, I want to ask you for your help in solving the Kalos' region's biggest Pokémon mystery. The secret and potential of Mega Evolution. A new kind of evolution that occurs in battle. That's why I gave you the Mega Stone just now. It's an important clue. Uh, why is Drought? Yes, that is correct, Starchamp. Trevor, my lad, if that's what best trainer means to you, then I want you to get out there and complete the Pokédex. Mega Evolution sounds really interesting. If you're, if you're investigating Mega Evolution, why don't you check out Campfire Town? That, that town has a lot of history. You might find a hint there. Now listen, if you visit many different places to complete the Pokedex, you will probably see Pokemon with many ways of living, and meet people with many ways of thinking. First, accept the ways of living and thinking that sometimes conflict with your own, and think about what's really important. This will truly broaden your horizons. I think being different from others is part of what makes me special. Mastering Mega Evolution will definitely set me apart from other trainers. Alright! Very good. Let us carry on on our adventure. I was gonna say, we're, we're in for the fun part of, uh, well, I say fun part, of course, with uh, a little bit of, uh, <laughs> a little bit of sarcasm. Um, we're in for the fun part of the Kalos adventure, that ridiculously long stretch between gyms 1 and 2. <laughs> Also, hello, not villain. <laughs> the children chosen by the professor. I wonder what potential they have. And here's one of them now. That's Lids. Lids, come here a sec. Oh, you received a Pokedex from the professor then. How wonderful. That is a wonderful thing indeed. You are one of the chosen ones. I am Lysander. I've tried to learn as much about Pokemon as I can to help build a brighter future. Professor Sycamore has taught me so much. Oh, I see you have a hollow caster. Knowledge is power, after all. Put it to good use. Now listen, it is vital to, that this world becomes a better place, and the people and Pokemon chosen to make the world better must work tirelessly to achieve this goal. Well, I'll be off. Please give Professor Sycamore my best. My desire. It is for a more beautiful world. <laughs> a little on the nose, you guys. <laughs> Uh, Melon says, by the way, I love Del Fox's design. I think it's it's really well made. That's awesome, Melon. I'm glad that you like Del Fox. I'm glad that you like Del Fox. I'm not the biggest fan of it myself. I, I think it's I think it's I think it's fine. Um it's a little it's not what I would have wanted for the for the uh the final form. I would have wanted a different a slightly different direction, but I think it is it is perfectly uh passable. <laughs> it is passable. I wonder what kind of beautiful world Lysander desires. In this great big Kalos region, there are many different Pokémon. I hope getting a Pokédex gives you a chance to learn about them. <laughs> I know, yeah, he's it's, it's, it's pretty over the top, SPS. Your, oh, I forgot that I forgot that they were calling me this. Your Majesty, there's a place I want to go check out, so I'll see you around. There's something I want to talk to you about. I'll be waiting for you at Cafe Solil, neighbor. I, I hate that Caleb does the whole neighbor thing. I don't know. I, I've always found that really cringy for some reason. It's not like that bad. It's not egregious or anything. It's just very, um, I don't know. I always like kind of just like don't. Like I, I've literally lived in this town for like five minutes. Don't call me neighbor. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. But all right, let's go. Stuff to, stuff to do and places to be. Uh, Mel says, as a Pokemon, uh, as a Pokemon battle-wise, it's pretty decent, but not the best. But design-wise, I love it. I'm glad that you like the design. I was going to say, uh, I think for me, I would have wanted them to go witchier with it, if that makes sense. I re uh, breaks. So to be clear, Breaksin is actually one of my... It's probably... Hmm, I don't, I'd have to think about it, but it's definitely like among my favorite middle stage uh, starter Pokemon, just in general. I love Breaksin. Um... The reason that uh, I'm not as huge on Delphox is because it, it doesn't look witchy enough to me. I would want I would want I, uh, excuse me I would have wanted them to go harder on like the witch aesthetic like maybe give it like a hat or you know like definitely keep it using like the like magic wand that it pulls out of its tail. I thought that was adorable. Um, so like yeah I definitely would have wanted that yeah kind of like Miss Magius to a certain degree. Give it its own like foxy flair of course, but um, yeah no something like that would have been awesome. <laughs> oh my goodness, Melon. <laughs> Don't make an Among Us joke. 
<laughs> but yeah, no, I love, I like breaks in a lot. I like breaks in. Sartre says, I think it's cool that they want to connect with you. I like calling you neighbor. <laughs> I, I like them calling you neighbor. Yeah, no, that's the thing is there's nothing wrong with it. It's just every time I read it, like, um, while I'm playing this game, I'm just like, I don't even know you. <laughs> We're not that close yet. I've, I've had like four conversations with you total. <laughs> You played a young girl so wonderfully in your debut on the silver screen. Wouldn't you ra rather remain young and beautiful forever and always play such roles? What a strange question. Why would I want to play the same rolled roles forever? You may be beautiful, but it's not all there is to life. Everything changes. I want to live and change like that, too. So I look forward to playing different roles as I get older. You were chosen to be a movie star, correct? Isn't it your duty to be forever beautiful? Everything beautiful should stay that way forever. I I would end the world in an instant so that beauty never fades. I can't stand the thought of the world becoming uglier. As if they hadn't smacked us in the face with this is the bad guy enough. Here's just a little uh, reiteration here. <laughs> oh, hello, Lids. This is Diantha, one of the most accomplished movie stars in Kalos. She moves the multitudes with her excellent acting, which is to say she dedicates her life to making other people happy. Oh, if only everyone were like her. What a beautiful world this would be. Do you think that they, like, have a thing? Like, Diantha and Lysander? I don't, like, maybe that's just, like, like horribly overanalyzing, but I don't know. Like, I could actually, like, kind of see them, like, because he's, like, a rich billionaire and she's, like, a famous movie star. You know what I mean? Like, they'd be in, like, similar circles. <laughs> so, I don't know. Like, could they be an item? I don't know. Debate, debate in the chat. <laughs> if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Everyone's gay for you, Yumi. <laughs> I cl I've claimed her. Oh, that's funny, Yumi. You're so silly. <laughs> and who are you two? I'm Calum. It's a pleasure. This is... Lids, right? I heard Lysander call you that. You both have lovely names. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> oh, and you're both trainers? Don't your Pokemon look happy? I'm a trainer myself in my off time. I look forward to us battling someday. I love her little her little skip. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Uh, SP says no. Lysander gets with uh, gets with anyone. You've heard how he talks. <laughs> uh, he says every fairy type user is queer. Oh, well, fair enough, fair enough. Ex excuse me. <laughs> well, uh, says Lysander's pretty gay. I'd say bye. Really? I kind of I either get the vibes that he's like really he's either like really like abrasively heterosexual or like asexual. One of those. <laughs> But I don't know. It's up for debate. It's up for debate. I just thought it would be an interesting pondery, just because, like I said, they are, you know, he's like, he's basically like Steve Jobs. <laughs> he's like, the, he's like the Pokemon Steve Jobs. He just, like, he owns Apple, basically, and is just like, so he's like, he's definitely a rich dude. He's rich, and he would be in contact with many celebrities, I imagine. So, like, I don't know. I just thought it could be a possibility. <laughs> As says, I need uh, I need dedicated Blastoise ready to shoot every time you do this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so we are off to Route 5 after I believe Tierno is going to give us a call to tell us to go to Route 5 as we're standing in front of Route 5. Feels great. So check this out. I'm on Route 5 right now and it's just hopping with wild Pokemon. Hurry and come check it out. Alright, we will do, Tierno. You got it, buddy. All right, <laughs> here we go. Sartre says, look at, how, look at how he dresses. Those straight man dresses that immaculate. I, it, we're, this is France we're talking about, though, Star Champ. You gotta, you gotta cut, cut, cut him some slack. <laughs> They're very fancy over there, or so I hear. Maybe that's profiling. Maybe I should stop. Uh, Mel says, in the anime, Alder asks Cynthia out and gets rejected. I did, I saw a clip of that. I thought that was really funny. Also, Mr. Bonding. Speaking <laughs> speaking of pe people who are um, immaculately dressed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's Europe. It's Europe. They're very fancy. Europeans are fancy. All right, very good. So off to actual proper Route 5 now. Here we go. Route 5 versus Route... Oh, oh, I forgot about this. It's oh, you got we're we're how, how many of you folks were here for the blue gay dog joke? <laughs> I don't remember the full context of it, but I remember that the last time we were in Kalos, we were we were goofing off about the blue gay dog. It's the blue gay dog. Welcome back, blue gay dog. <laughs> uh, 
Well, that's a that's that's a classic. That's 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 the old school old school uh, the lid seven seven joke. If I may toot my own horn for a moment. <laughs> Wait, Lucario. Sorry about that. Are you okay? I was just doing some special training with my Lucario when all of a sudden it dashed off. Hey, Lucario, what's going on with you? Did you get drawn in by this girl's aura or something? Huh, well, it seems Lucario likes you. Thanks. <laughs> Starchet says blue gay dog is great. I know, yeah, I don't I don't remember the full context of the I think someone just called it a blue gay dog and I thought that was really funny. <laughs> but um Yumi says, wait, was this the playthrough I started watching your stream? I actually think it was, because um, it was definitely a Kalos playthrough when I first, uh, when I raided, when I just spontaneously raided the Pixel Mavericks for the first time, and that's where I met a lot of you folks. So yeah, no, I think I think that was the playthrough. I think that was the playthrough, Yumi. <laughs> See, Lucario can read people's auras. I guess something in your aura has made this one take a liking to a stranger. This Lucario is always getting worked up in battle with one with my other one. Maybe it's just been waiting for a traitor to appear who's strong enough to challenge it. Oops, sorry, I was on such a roll I forgot to even introduce myself. I'm Karina, the Shaller City Gym Leader. If you're collecting gym badges, I'm sure we'll be battling sooner or later. I'll be looking forward to it. I hope you know how to roll with the punches. Yeah, no, I don't I don't remember exactly the players involved, Yumi, but uh, definitely definitely going to keep that bit going. I love Blue Gay Dog. <laughs> We love Blue Gay Dog here. Blue Proportion. SPS says Lucario came to make fun of your aura. It knows you're a weenie. Ooh, I do have weenie aura. Absolutely, absolutely. It, you know, you know how like in like anime, and, like cartoons and stuff, whenever they have like aura vision or whatever, you like see like the aura around like the person, like the like the it's just like their silhouette, and then it has like the glowy outline around them. If you if you use aura vision on me, you see my silhouette, and then just like a giant like hot dog, <laughs> just a giant weenie. I I have I have immaculate weenie aura. Anyways, <laughs> uh, route five. Uh, we have a route five encounter to get, so let's see what we can get. <laughs> Oh god, it's a horde. Oh god. <laughs> okay, I think we have this full line, but I'll double check real fast. I'll double check. I think we do, though. Uh, Dex, Plusle. We have Plusle. Do we have Minun? <gasps> oh no, we don't have Minun. Rip, we have to catch one of these things if we want an encounter. But I want to save it for Gen 3, though! No! <laughs> We're never going to get any encounters. It's not fair. I do not have taco. I don't like tacos, actually. Uh, like, I, like, I, well, okay, so to be clear, they're fine. I don't seek them out. If someone offers a taco, I'll take one, though. Oh, that, that's cool. Um, uh, Melon, that's cool. Karina. Yeah, Kar Karina's cute. Karina's very cute. Uh, Yumi says, bold of Pokemon to release a game with a female bug gym leader, yet uh, still have me, like, two gym leaders more than her. <laughs> what is it about Viola that, you, that you're not a big fan of, Yumi? Or just, like, she's just not that interesting to you? Uh, SBS says I, says I should shave, save the Minin. I'm thinking I should probably save it as well. Feels kind of bad to say. I, it sucks that we miss another encounter in a row, but, yeah, I think it's a good idea, too. Starship says hot dogs are tacos. That's the joke. Oh, are they? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Mel says, how long have I been at this? Uh, I was going to say, we actually just celebrated the one year anniversary um, uh, just a few days ago. The, uh, uh, May 21st. May 21st was the one year anniversary. So I've been doing it for a little over a year. Okay. Yep. Missed the encounter. Uh, let me... Uh, I got paralyzed. I'm gonna go heal real fast. <laughs> uh, Yumi says, I don't dislike Viola. To be clear, she's cute and seems alright, but Karina and Valerie stand out so much more to me. That's fair. That's fair. I like Viola, actually. Um, I, I would say she's one of my favorites in this game. I think she's really cute. Um, I definitely was endeared to her even more uh, by playing Pokemon Masters, because she has like an accent in that game. <laughs> I think it's adorable. I think it's adorable. And she just says fantastic a lot. That's her whole, That's her gimmick. <laughs> kind of cute. I, I'm so confused. I'm so confused, Star Champ. I'm so confused. <laughs> okay, back to Route 5. 
for real reals this time. And yeah, unfortunately, uh, no no encounter, but we're, we could still potentially get some encounters today, so it's okay. It's okay. I'm hoping to get at least one. I love catching things. Catching things is fun. And I want more Kalos Mons. Um, okay, so let me... Oh, shoot. I forgot to put Char uh, Charizard away. Dang it. <laughs> I gotta run back again. That's okay. I forget. Yeah, I forgot to. I forgot to go put uh, Leon away. Yeah, let me do that real fast. I hate that it forces it onto your team. God forbid we ever want to play without the Kanto starters game. I'll understand after stream. Okay, I'll take your word for it, Star Champ. Wait, okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold the stinking phone. Ah, there's a tiger. A tiger has arrived on the scene. Hey, tiger, how's it going? How was your shower? Well, I mean, don't get too don't get too into it, but I hope it was a good shower at least. <laughs> um. Anyways, botched that conversation. Oops. Uh. Anyways, let me grab. Uh. Where are you? Uh. Justin Aaron. There we go. Uh, Casper says it would have been neat to see uh, to keep seeing Viola throughout the game because of her traveling around to take pictures of bugs and scenery. Yeah, I, th really, the I think that the the unfortunate reality of the Kalos gym leaders is that, especially coming off of the heels of Black and White, where every gym leader feels like a proper character, um, the gym leaders of this game really kind of blow. <laughs> like they're fine. They 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 do their job. You know, they 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 serve their purpose just as much as any other like gym leader before Gen Five. Um, the issue is just that they're all, um, they're also, they don't do anything. All, like, literally all they do is stand around in their gym, with the exception of Karina, of course. But, um, you know, aside from Karina and, like, I mean, you can maybe make an argument for Clement. But, basically, all of them just kind of hang out in their gym and wait for you to come beat them up. And then that's the only contribution they have to the entire, uh, to the entire story of the game. And that's boring. That's really boring. Ooh, that's rough. That's rough, Melon. Yeah, that <laughs> sounds like a rough, a rough Nuzlocke L. <laughs> Definitely. Sergeant says Olympia deserves more. Olympia is very pretty. I just wish she did anything. Her gym is awesome. It's one of my favorites. I think it's the aesthetic is, is really cool. Uh, oh, Bundle is out. Um, I don't want Bundle to be out. Then again, then again, I could mudslap. I guess that's fine. Why not Bundle? Why not? Yumi says Olympia and Wolfric are so unmemorable to me, especially Olympia, because I uh, I was way over leveled and only played through once. Yeah, no, that that's the thing is like none of them are particularly notable. Wolfric's a pushover and like a frankly just a embarrassing embarrassing last gym leader to have. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a it's it's a shame. It's a shame. I the Kalos gym leaders are just so underdeveloped. It feels su it feels super bad. Yeah, no, uh, the, I, the difference there, Tiger, uh, with the first games is that, like, we've had time to, like, get to know those gym leaders over the course of many games. Like, the, the Gen 1 gym leaders, we've seen them in, like, three different iterations with all sorts of different personalities, like side quests, mini games, all sorts of junk. They've shown up in so many games. The problem is that, like, the Kalos gym leaders literally only have, Cal uh, only have X and Y to really go on. <laughs> um... They're definitely better after like Pokemon Masters exists, but like only only ever so slightly. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the the misplays do happen, Melon. I totally get it. I've definitely had a a, a misplay or two in my day. <laughs> okay, let's finish off the plusle here. Yumi says I literally beat Wolfric's entire gym, including him. With my single Delphox and not healing, might have not even took damage. Just flamethrower through everything. Yeah, no, it's it's rough. <laughs> it's it's well, I, I, when I say rough, it's rough for him. Like it's just it's it's he's too easy. <laughs> it's just too stinking easy. He, he's literally so bad that he says before you fight him that he'll probably go down really easy. <laughs> That's not the kind of finale you want to have to your gym leaders. Uh, it's just funny. Uh, Sarge says, that's the thing for me. Olivia is so memorable for her gem and her style and bits of her personality and force of will, but then nothing. Yeah, no, it's super lame. It's super lame. When you got, like, this whole Team Flare subplot, you would think that the gym leaders would, like, try and do something about it, but they just don't. <laughs> they just don't do anything. They just vibe. 
Hell, even Karina, the most the most developed of all of the gym leaders, doesn't give a damn about Team Flare. All she cares about is Mega Evolution. And it's just like, that's cool and all, but like, dang it. Ooh, Scorch is evolving! Yay! It's breaks in time, baby! Yay, we get the witchy, witchy fox. Witchy fox time. Yay! Oh, I love Brakeson. Brakeson's so cool. <laughs> I love Brakeson. Ba boom! All right, there we go. Uh, let's see. Let's uh, let's do some re reorganizing here. Ooh, we're all over leveled there with Brakeson, actually. Let's put Edna out. Bundle, you can kind of just sit back and let the let the experience share take the take the wheel. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, that should be good. My goodness, Pokemon- Oh, wait, I mixed the voices up, sorry. <laughs> Pokemon hearts are certainly intense. Yeah, they're like a dance team made up of Pokemon, aren't they? Oh, dear, now, do you ever think about anything besides dancing? Nope, even during Pokemon battles, I'm always checking out their moves. And then my feet just start moving, too. I can't help it, you know? Like, like the swords dance. I love it. I guess that's why I could never win. Oh, hey, it's your majesty. Do your Pokemon know any sweet moves? Show me in a battle. <laughs> Yumi says I still claim that Valerie is a former Komodo girl. Debunked, Yumi. Sorry. <laughs> it was debunked. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's still fun to like the idea. <laughs> Alright, let's give a Corefish the Thunderfang. All right, Clawfish goes down. <laughs> I mean, you can you can you can read it however you want to read it. You know I mean, I won't tell you how to live your life. <laughs> Ooh, bundle hits level fifteen. Very good. Wants to learn takedown. Nah, we don't like recoil here. We don't like recoil in this house. Also, we hit the wrong button. Ding it. Keep old moves. There we go. You should give me a free heal though, Tier. Now that would be very nice. Uh, don't make me go all the way back. Maybe I'll just potion. Maybe I'll just potion. This this route has a lot of trainers on it. Some of which can be kind of tough sometimes. So. <laughs> I mean, no, I get it. I get it, Yumi. I, the 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 evidence was is 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 relatively substantial. I would say that like, were it not for the fact that like they almost directly like address that entire argument. I would say that there there was a reasonable argument for it, but I was gonna say I personally take like like why would they even mention that if like you know they weren't gonna you know just try to be very clear about it in in Master. So that's that's my take on it. But like I said, you can you can interpret things however you feel like you want to interpret them. It ain't hurting nobody. Um. So yeah, let me let me just drop some potions real fast. It's to throw us off. There's a conspiracy. There's a conspiracy. Game Freak doesn't want you to know. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> okay, cool. Let's 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 move on. You know, you know what theory I like that was like always a Pokemon theory, but was like kind of pseudo getting confirmed, um, like in recent in recent games and in recent like just events is the whole Agatha and Bertha connection. Um, has been like. I mean, like, I mean, with Legends Arcia, there's, there's a character who it appears to be an ancestor of both characters. So, like, that, like, low-key confirmation that Bertha and Agatha are <laughs> are related somehow. But we, I want to know how they're related. But, like, it's not, like, uh, it's not, in you know, intrinsic proof or anything. But, like, it seems, like, really, really likely that they're related. <laughs> and I think that's, I don't know. I just think it's neat. I think it's neat. I want to know if they're like sisters, or or, or cousins, or or like I don't know, uh, you know, I, I probably I don't know I don't know like how would they be related? I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe they're sisters. Maybe maybe they're like yeah like I don't know. 
I feel like Sisters is the most reasonable given that they're both like old. So, I don't know. Yumi says, wasn't Bertha from Kanto or something? I heard something about that. I I don't know if she's from Kanto, but what what I do know is that uh, Charm in Legends Arceus is is from Kanto. Um, and she has, she has, her team is uh, Ry Rhydon and Gengar. <laughs> um, so that, that, that's kind of what I'm wondering about is like, yeah, how are they, um, how, how, what's the connection? Because like, like very clearly, Charm is 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 alluding to both Agatha and and uh, and Bertha there because it's the it's the Sinnoh ancestor game, and then also she has a Gengar, so it's like okay, cool, clear connection. I think Masters did something with that too, where they were saying uh, where they, they they had a bit about Agatha and Bertha like talking to each other, being like, hey, everyone says we look alike, but I don't I don't know exactly all the details to it. But yeah, I definitely want to know what's going on there. I want to know what the connection is. Yeah, maybe cousins. Cousins could be it. It's hard to say. Okay, who's next on the chopping block? Hey, what's up here? Oh, that's right. Um, yeah, this is fine. This is fine. Like I, I definitely don't think that there was ever any intention to make Bertha and Agatha related. I think that's I think that's one of the sort of, one of the sort of things that like even Game Freak realized like in hindsight, like, oh yeah, they do kinda look alike. Maybe we could be, maybe we could just roll with that. <laughs> and I think that's kinda funny. Uh, Yumi says, quote, in Pokemon Black 2 and White 2, Chantal from the Unova Elite 4 mentions the resemblance between Bertha and Agatha of the Kanto Elite 4 as a quote for her novel during the player's post-National Pokedex challenge. Yeah, yeah, that they just look similar. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, uh, that's good stuff. Good stuff. That Wait, did, I, I think, hmm. I wonder, are, does that actually mean that Bertha's from Kanto? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know, because I could just be referring like like Agatha is from Kanto, but like it's between Bertha and Agatha of Kanto. I don't know. I guess it's open for interpretation. Starchy says there's an old German adage that says everyone has a look-alike out there somewhere. I mean, I suppose that's that's also true. That's also true. I don't know. I I, I do like the idea that they're sisters personally. Uh, obviously, there's no substantiating evidence at this time, but. Um, I do like the idea that they're that they're sisters. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean it, it's it's like I said, it's open for interpretation. Even like Bulba, like on Bulbapedia or whatever, it's like it's open it's open for their interpretation too. So it's like yeah, it's hard to it's hard to say. Uh, what what Game Freak's intention with a line like that is? I think I think it would be imperative to check the, like the Japanese translation of that line just to see what that actually says, because um, that could just be like a, a you know a reading of it. Hey Dapper Kirby, welcome. Dapper Kirby says Game Freak when they make a when, uh, when they make a lazy too similar design. Uh yeah, they're related. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's true. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, charm. That's 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 what I was talking about, Casper. Where it's just like, yeah, like that. Like seems to. I was gonna say they've 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 alluded to a couple of times between Masters and the Chantal thing. They've alluded a couple of times to the characters being like semi-related, um, in some way. And then yeah, uh, what's it called? Um, charm definitely makes it seem like okay. This is this basically seems to be like yes, Charm is the ancestor of both, which means that they they are most likely related in some fashion. God, Edna, you're so you're so nimble. Oh no, I just spilled coffee all over my mouse. No. It's fine, it's not that much. <laughs> it's not that much. Hey, welcome back, Melon. Uh Yumi says, quote, the woman who uses ghost types and the woman who uses ground types, I couldn't ask the reason why their names and appearances are so similar. That's part of a novel I wrote. I absolutely love writing about the close bonds between trainers and Pokemon and that I've competed against. Could I use you and your Pokemon as a subject? Is that what what I would say, what is that what is that line? I mean clearly it's Chantal, but what is the what is that line uh from Yumi? Is that like the Japanese version? 
the uh, direct translation or something. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, can I do the thing? Here, let me get some speed. Nope, that was not even close. <laughs> Sorry, so that's the second time in two weeks. You okay? I know, I'm clumsy. I'm just clumsy. That's all it is. Oh, I would have loved a Skiddo. I wish we could have got a Skiddo. We definitely don't have one. I don't think we have that anything from that line. Because we keep running into things that we can't catch, or that we can catch, but that aren't useful to us. That's the English quote when you rematch her. Oh, cool, Yumi. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, so that, that that's even more vague. There we go. Uh, was that even necessary? No, I think it's this one that we need to... Oh, rats. I think this is just for a TM, right? No, I didn't mean to... Oh, my God. Come on, come on. Huh, huh. No, get speed. Oh, I can never, I can never get this to work, th work right. Oh, I keep accidentally doing that. Oh my god. There we go. Beautiful. <laughs> Made it happen. Hone claws. Totally wasn't worth it. <laughs> um, else it's time to play more BDSP Nuzlocke. Hey, have a good time with your BDSP Nuzlocke. Hope that goes well for you. Feel free to uh, post updates on it in the uh, Nuzlocke chat in the Discord. Always love seeing people's progress on their on their own personal challenges. Uh, okay, so let's see. Let's put Bravo out front. It is your turn, my friend. And I don't think we fought this guy, so we're gonna do that. Rising Star Tyson got the oopie doof. Uh, Sergeant says off topic, but I love her quotes. Uh, you mean uh, Chantal? No matter how much research I do, I still have no clue. How old how old do you think Cynthia is? Any idea? <laughs> That's awesome. Is that is it wait, is that a Chantal quote? I was say I, I hardly ever do like post game stuff in Pokemon games, so I haven't really I haven't really done her rematches. I've done like a rematch against her. Uh okay, yeah, let me vine whip. Oh, that's where you took the L melon? Ooh, yeah, well be just be careful. Yeah, be careful. I was say a Nuzlocke in uh, I'm I'm thinking that a that a Nuzlocke in BDSP would actually be kind of tough. We're gonna be doing one for the Forever Lock before too long, um, but it seems brutal because uh, I noticed while I was doing battle decks that um, almost all of the gym leaders use like items on their po like uh, like held items like uh, like Gardenia has like a Miracle Seed on her Turtwig, uh, like uh, Crasher Wake's using like uh, like Mystic Water. Um, like, like, and then, yeah, like, the entire Elite Four, their entire se uh, squad, their entire Pokemon have held items, which I never, I didn't even know when I was playing. Um, so yeah, like, I, it seems like it's gonna be, uh, a wild Nuzlocke. <laughs> Very wild one. Oh, it's at the villa. Oh, cool, cool. Very nice, Star Champ. Uh, Yumi says, Agatha is the only Gen 1 Elite Four member to have all of her Pokemon share a type, and it not even be her stated specialty type. I know. <laughs> it feels so bad. I wonder if she ever shows up again in any Pokemon game, if they'll, like, retroactively give her, um, like, ghost types. Because, uh, yeah, I, 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 like, I like Agatha as the ghost type user, but I want her to actually use ghost type Pokemon. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I stayed in. Uh, let me switch. Let me switch. Just to play it safe here. Let's go into... How about Frisky? Uh, Melon says, I just beat Gardenia and did the Eterna Galactic HQ. Ooh, nice, nice. Uh, I was gonna say, yeah, the uh, Jupiter gives me a hard time. I imagine Jupiter would be tough because she's got like... Uh, her Skuntank's got Aftermath, Flamethrower. It's like ridiculous. Uh, the early game Skuntank on that one is absurd. Uh, Sergeant says, how old do you think Cynthia is? I always got the vibe that she was in her mid-20s, maybe late-20s. Like, probably like 27, 28, something like that. That's just my take, though. Uh, Leech Seed, I absolutely want. Yes, definitely. Goodbye, Lear.
Okay, another one down. Okay, we got this guy. Uh, we'll leave Bundle to get experience. That's fine. Let's just keep going with Bravo. Oh, I forgot to write down Charizard earlier. I need to do that. Hold on. Oh, maybe I should have... Well, I was gonna say there's nothing I can do about that. I was gonna say maybe I should have saved Charizard for Gen uh, <laughs> Gen uh, three, but no, I, I I mean I can't. It's a it's a required gift Pokemon, <laughs> so never mind on that front. But yeah, here we go. I got it written down. Okay. Okay. Send Tret. Uh, yeah, we will just go for a Vine Whip. Uh, Mel says I just spammed, uh, I, I just spammed ro uh, Rock Smash with V-Barrel and then stick to Power Up Punch Monferno for the rest. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. Good, good, good strategy. Good strategy. Also, I forgot to open my, sh uh, stream manager. There we go. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Hold on. Sorry, folks. <laughs> okay, now we're good. Now we're good. I got the stream manager up now. Uh, Sarah says, huh, I always got the impression she's younger than she seems, or rather she looks and acts older than she is. Mid-20s at the high. You think so? Huh. I always got the vibes that she was like, kind of like moving towards, for, uh, not, uh, uh move, moving towards uh, 30. That that's the vibe I got. Is that like she was like, like she was a, a a pro Pokemon trainer, like in her like prime, like journey, doing her journey, like probably in her, her like late teens to early 20s, and that like she's been a seasoned, experienced trainer for many years, and then like now that she's like kind of on her way to 30, she's like. Uh, you know, she's like she's like uh, slowing down, like doing like some research on like you know ruins and junk, like she likes. Uh, at least that's the vibe I get. Dapper Kirby says Cynthia looks anime twenty, which is any age between fifteen and forty. I mean, that's the that's the ultimate problem, I suppose. It's just it's so hard to tell with anime characters. <laughs> uh, here, let me let me restore some health here. I I actually am kind of low on potions, so I'll need to get some more when we get to Campfire Town. Ah, my phone fell down. Oops. Okay, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Mel says, I wish my friend understood the difference between physical and special. They always give their special attacking psychic type psycho cut. I know, yeah. <laughs> I mean, sometimes it's just cool to have cool moves, but yeah, no. I mean, it just goes that way sometimes. Get out of here, no duo. Wait, no, I want to fight you. Come, fight me, small child. Dapper Kirby says, like, around Leon's age, maybe a bit older. How old do you think Leon is, Dapper Kirby? <laughs> I don't think they ever say his age, do they? How old is Leon? Ooh, it's pan sage, pan sage violence. Um, okay, let's go. Ooh, we do no damage. Yeah, I should have known better. I should have known better. I'll swap after this. No, not again. No, I'll switch. Oh, no, was, yeah, definitely gotta switch. It's with the play nice, absolutely. Yeah, how how old is Leon? How old is Leon? What does what does people think? What does the what am I Pokeball? No, what am I doing? Hold on, Pokemon. There we go. And we will swap to we will swap to Edna. And Epicurus says, Ah, oh, you missed my previous message. I think Cynthia's around 28, 29. Uh, Leon maybe 25. Oh yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't see that message. How, that's I mean I didn't have my stream manager open so that could be why. <laughs> um, yeah no okay so you think you think Cynthia's around 28 or 29 Leon maybe 25. Oh okay okay I can kind of see that I can kind of see that. I was gonna say um, one thing that I, I've always wondered about with Leon I think I mentioned this in the in the previous Shield playthrough um, is uh, how does he not know the player from Sword and Shield? Like presumably he would have been like a kid when like Hop was a little kid and we've been friends with Hop like our entire life. So how does he, how, like, how are we meeting him for the first time? I've always wondered that like since that, since Sword and Shield. Yumi says Leon is a young adult, uh, same with Sony and Raihan, like early to mid twenties. Yeah, that's the vibe I got. I could see, I could see as, as, uh, as we, as low as like 21. But like that's like low, low end, and then I would say like at at the max, I would say probably 26, like at most, at most for Leon. He's definitely not 30. 
but uh, yeah. Uh, Sergeant says, what is what Pokemon is Chantal's scarf based on? I always thought it looked kind of like a, a Jellicent, but that could just be a coincidence. I, I, yeah, I guess so, Yumi, but it's just weird. Like, like, how are you best friends with Hop and live literally right next door to Hop, but then he's you've never met his brother? <laughs> it's just weird. It's weird. Presumably he would have been a little kid while you were like two or three. So, I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> it's weird. Uh, Democrat says, Leon's just conveniently been traveling uh, or battling every time we come over for hot playdates. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Yeah, m maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe Leon was, like, doing his, like, initial Pokemon, like, gym, gym challenge. Like, when me and Hop met. I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Yumi says, how old is Opal? She's 16, Yumi. She's 16. <laughs> exactly, Dapper Kirby. Exactly. Yeah, Opal's 16. We all know that. Put it on the wiki. Okay. Um. Yeah, Bravo up front, up front is fine. Let's go do the Campfire Town plot that we all love. We all love that we're all here for. Hi, Your Majesty. An acquaintance of yours? Two visitors to Chabonneau Castle. I can't remember the last time we've been so busy. This castle, Chateau if you will, was a manor house of a noble family. It may be a little run down now, but that's because there's history to this place. During that history, the owners of this castle gave away a lot of their stuff to everyone, so that's why it feels so empty. The end. That's it? You don't have anything related to Mega Evolution? That's it? What in the world is Mega Evolution? SPS says Opal is endless. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, Sergeant says, yeah, doesn't doesn't mean that you ever cross paths. You think you think kids want to be friends with their younger siblings? I mean, I, I it's it's less so that like they would want to be friends, Star Champ, and more so that like because you when you when you meet up with Leon at the at the station in Sword and Shield. Like, it's framed as if you're literally meeting him for the very first time. He's like, oh, so you're, you know, your lids like it's just like. That's just weird, cause like, eat, like I feel like when if you have like a best friend, you usually at least know their family, right? Like you maybe you're not friends with them, but you would know them. Presumably, you'd see them like around the house or whatever. So like, I don't know. I just find that weird. I find that very peculiar that you don't know Leon before the before the start of the game. All right, off to the next route, Route Seven. Well, we can't catch anything here quite yet, but we will progress the plot forward, of course. Uh, Sergeant says a lot of people are saying that he's about 20. Really? That young? I don't get that. I get the or I get uh, older. Uh, older than 20. 20 seems too young to me. Uh, Yumi says Leon got lost every time you were going to beat him. Oh, I mean, I guess that. Uh, that, that checks out, Yumi. That checks out. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that's BS. <laughs> I I, can't, I don't even know what number that Roman numeral is. I'm bad at reading those. Dabba Kirby says, assuming you and Hop were born around the same time he became champ, so Hop only knows his bro as champ. He could be around 20. That's the thing is, I don't get the vibe that, that Hop only knows Leon as the champ, because they seem to have like a relationship together, like a relationship of like growing up together, and then like Hop beginning to idolize him over time. Um, so I get the vibe that he must have been around. I just, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how it, uh, I don't know how it all stacks up together with the facts. <laughs> we have to, we have to mathematically determine a timeline for, you know, our, our relationship with Leon versus Hop versus, you know, everyone else. <laughs> uh, that's great. It's great. Pokemon fans overanalyzing the series since 1996. <laughs> okay, let's uh, move on to this next trainer. Tiger says, I mean, Ash has been 10 for how long? I mean, don't even get, don't, let's not even get started down that rabbit hole, Tiger. <laughs> uh, he says, usually uh, you only really see friends. I mean, I that's not my experience. I, I Maybe some folks are like that. I I mean, yes, I would see my friends at school, but when I was a kid, I would go over to my, my friend's house all the time and see, you know, I, I knew their parents, I knew their siblings. 
not I wasn't friends with them, but I definitely knew them. <laughs> maybe maybe this is yeah, maybe just like different people, different experiences. Denver Kirby says, at least we have vague confirmation Ray and Akari are 15. Yes, we do have vague confirmation of that. We can we can adequately place them at around that age. Main character mysteriously lost their memory, so uh, so they have to all pretend you've never met Leon before. <laughs> Suspicion, says Casper. <laughs> That's silly. Uh, Debaker says, Liz was just cooler and more popular than all of us as a child. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I wouldn't go that far, but I mean. <laughs> Keep old moves, no need. Uh, Yumi says, and both ways, you'd go over there and they'd come over to your place? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, Yumi. Yeah, no, I had friends over to my place all the time. And and then also, um, I would go over to their, their, their houses. Granted, this was all when I was much younger. <laughs> I, uh, that, that kind of petered off by around the time I hit, like, late middle school or so. Um, then I would just kind of, like, hang out, like, wherever. Like, in the city. Like, somewhere. But, yeah. <laughs> uh, neither here nor there. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's, yeah, that's how it worked. Usually. I saw them at school, too, but, like, I mean, I was, you know, I wasn't really, we didn't exactly hang out at school. We were in classes together, and I, I mean, we hang out at, like, lunch period or whatever, but... <laughs> Yeah, no, you just go over to your friend's house, and then your friends come over to your house. That's just how it goes. That's the typical experience. At least, I, I mean, I guess I'm assuming, but it's the way I experienced it. <laughs> oh, Pidgey? No, I don't want to deal with Pidgey. All right, give them the strength. Ooh, Justin Aaron hits level 16. Beautiful. Psyduck is coming out. Let's go into Bravo. SPS says I'm starting to see why y'all got into Pokemon. What's that supposed to mean, SPS? <laughs> uh, Dabakaru says, jokes aside, I did the same thing, Lids. Having playdates with friends both at my house and theirs, uh, or just playing outside. You're not weird. Yay! I'm not weird. Oh, I don't know about that, but... <laughs> I'm glad to know that my, my experience wasn't, in t wasn't wholly unique. <laughs> Uh, Yumi says, when I'm young, all of the logistics have to be based around who can drive you and your parents have work and stuff and making plans is hard. I mean, yeah, no, fair enough. I was going to say, usually the way it worked is, yeah, like, either, either like, uh, like my friend growing up, like, would just come over to my house. Like, their their mom would just drop them off and, like, they'd, like, stay a day, sometimes the weekend. Um, and then, yeah, and then usually, like, um, like, my mom would just drive them back home <laughs> when the time came. That's usually how it worked. Uh, and you know, vice versa as well. Like if I went over there, uh, it just depend. It just depend on like like parents' availability and stuff like that. Uh, Psybeam. Ooh, Psybeam. Ooh, we love Psybeam. Goodbye, Tail Whip. Yeah, the week. Uh, did you did you never have weekend playdates, Yumi? Oh, that makes me so sad. That just makes me sad. Uh, play. Yeah, like like just um, uh, going over. To <laughs> that's that's honestly like that's a really nostalgic term. Um. I don't uh, uh, Dabber Kirby, did you ever have this, like, where it was, like, it, it, I would never say it, like, as, like, a teenager, but, like, um, when I was, like, a kid, you wouldn't say you're gonna come over and hang out. You'd say you're gonna come over to play. You're gonna come over to play. <laughs> so, yeah, that's how, the, and, and, you know, it, it just sounds, it sounded cringy to say as a teenager, so I never said it that way. But, like, as a kid, it was like, hey, uh, hey, do you want to come over to play? <laughs> that's what, that's what I said. That's what, that's what everybody said. I was like nine or ten. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, uh, Vine Whip. Oh, you've never had a sleepover, Yumi? Oh, that makes me so sad. That makes me so sad. Sleepovers are fun. Staying up late, watching movies, uh, playing video games, watching shows. It's fun. Very fun. 
Oh, uh, did you have camping? Did you have like camping playdates as well, SBS? Camping playdates were fun too. Yeah, you do like s'mores. Do like s'more. I did that a few times actually. You just hang out like in the, uh, what I I did. Uh, my my a friend of mine had like a really really big backyard. So uh, yeah, we would. Um, it was like the kind of it was like a backyard. It wasn't like uh like sectioned off, and then like it petered off into a um into like this kind of foresty area. Um, and so, yeah, we would just, like, hang out in, in the backyard, and, uh, and, yeah, like, uh, they had a, a fire pit, so, yeah, we would, we would, uh, we would make s'mores sometimes. It was tasty. <laughs> uh, Ralts is coming out. Uh, Ralts. Um. Oh, shoot, no, you're a fairy type now, aren't you? Okay. <laughs> well. Uh, Dabber Kirby says, actually, I've never, I've never been camping, but I have had s'mores. Ooh, you should go camping, Dabber Kirby, it's fun. It's fun. I don't really do it anymore because I'm a boring adult now. But <laughs> I used to, I used to when I was a kid. Neutral bite, go! Yay! <laughs> Aw, this makes me sad. This makes me sad. We should all. I was gonna say, let's all go on a on a, a metaphorical camping trip together. <laughs> Gulpin. Um, who wants to fight a Gulpin? Frisky wants to fight a Gulpin. Maybe says both my parents work, so uh, not like I could have people over since nobody's. I, I was gonna say uh, this, of course, is just dependent on on your on your you know your parents and you know how much they were comfortable with you. Uh, I was gonna say um, my my parents uh, trusted me and my friend enough to leave us unsupervised sometimes. Not uh, not like for long, but like yeah, like I would um, I had a I had a few a few times where like yeah, my mom would just be at work and just my friend would be over. And it wasn't a big deal. <laughs> That's how it worked for me, anyways. Oh, uh, Mystic Xerix is here. How's it going? Welcome. How are you doing today? Hopefully I said your name right. Also, we got Poison, and now I'm sad. We're talking about camping trips. We're talking about camping trips and, uh, and uh, you know, like, uh, experiences like a, as like a, as like a uh, child. Uh, so if you have any stories you want to share, please do. Please <laughs> do. Tiger says, metaphorical, lids my mind is barely ever clean. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, Tiger says, we grew up in poverty, so both my parents had to work. On top of that, my, uh, mom having depression so I could never invite people over because their house is a mess. Aw, that's sad, Sarge Ham. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, Amy says, eventually I could be home alone, but not with a friend. Aw, sad. Very sad. Yeah, no, um, <laughs> frankly, it was actually kind of funny, uh, 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 my, my good friend growing up, um, <laughs> my mom probably trusted them more than they, than my mom trusted me. <laughs> they trusted that my friend would make sure I didn't get into any, any shenanigans. <laughs> yeah, so that was, that was pretty funny. <laughs> I was a hooligan, Dapper Kirby. Yes, I was absolutely a hooligan. I I I, I was a hooligan all the way up through through like high school. <laughs> no, but no, it's okay. We're all we're all good friends now. That's the important part, Yumi. Don't don't ever forget. You have friends here. You have friends here. We're here for you, and we're all gonna go camping with you and have and have slumber parties in PJs. It'll be great. Okay, here we are to Parfum Palace. Uh, do we want to get... Actually, we could get an encounter, a Route 6 encounter real quick. As Eric says, I'm about to go to bed. Ooh, very nice, very nice. Uh, well, I hope uh, I hope that you have a, a, a lovely a lovely rest on this on this fine day. I was going to say, I presume it must be like evening time for you, uh, wherever you're at. But yeah, I hope that, I hope that you sleep well. Audit? Well, do we need the Oddish line? That is the question. Let's uh let's take a gander real fast. Uh let me check the Discord. Let's see, we have Oddish. I think we might have the whole Oddish line. Um yeah, we have the whole Kanto line. Let me check Blossom real quick. Blossom yep, we have the whole Oddish line, so we do not need this. Oh, it's 1 a.m. for you, Xerox. Dang, dang, sleepy, 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 I bet. <laughs> what 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 keeps you up at this at this late hour? Uh, Tiger says, uh, my parents trusted me to make sure friends didn't do anything stupid. Joke's on them. I let it all. <laughs> Ooh, I was gonna say that's a that's a that's a prime opportunity for you there, Tiger, to to, to lead the ch the secret charge of of childhood villainy. 
Also, is there more than just Oddish here? <laughs> He says, I had friends back then too, uh, but not like I can uh, can go to y'all's houses or, or to mine either. I was going to say, well, that's the thing is like we can we, uh, now we, we can all just kind of hang out in the same uh, metaphorical house. <laughs> uh, Xerox says, I'm not sleep. I have I, I, I have slept at 5 a.m. sometimes. Yeah, no, I definitely have those kind of nights sometimes too. <laughs> uh, OK, Sentry, I think we have as well. Um. I think, yeah, because we have Sen in the Hall of Fame, and then we have Pontal, the, um, the, the Furret already. So, yeah, we are good on the Sentret as well. I, there's, like, Hone Edge here, right? I want a Hone Edge. Give me Hone Edge. Minchino? I think we, I, we definitely have Meowstic in the Hall of Fame. What is our status, or not Minchino. Did I say Minchino? Esper, that one. <laughs> I know what Pokemon are. <laughs> yes, we have we have Esper. <laughs> uh, that was funny. Minchino. It's not a Minchino. <laughs> the future is now, thanks to science. Indeed, Starcham. Indeed. Technology is incredible. Ooh, bre Ooh we love breaks for coffee here. I can tell you that much, Xerix. <laughs> We love breaks for coffee. I literally took a break from stream earlier to go get more coffee. It's what I do. It's what I do. Everyone teases me for it. It's great. <laughs> Come on, Honage. They're here, right? They're they're not that rare. I don't think they're that rare. Uh, Dapper Kirby says Starchamp is an arrival. They're now they're now the 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 uh, staring. Uh, they're now that uh, starting town tech person. <laughs> yeah, Star Champ, are you the um? I was say you're you're the you're the you're the person that's always in the star the starting town rambling about how cool science is. <laughs> that is now your role. Come on, there's got I know there's Hone Edge here. It's not, like, version exclusive, right? There it is. Okay, cool. We got it. We got it. I know I need something from this line. So, yeah, let's see here. Uh, Hone Edge. Let me double check what we actually need. Uh, we need Dubblade and Aegislash. So, uh, this can be either one of those. Very good. Oh, uh, yeah. Fair, fair enough, Yumi. Fair enough. So just, I mean, I was I was quoting Clement. <laughs> oh, were you quoting Clement? But, well, still. <laughs> still. Um, okay, so yeah, let me... Hmm, how do I want to handle this hone edge here? I don't think I have a quick ball or anything. Um, let's give it a lick. Maybe we'll get the paralysis off of it. Fury, ooh, Fury Cutter? That's not good. Yeah, I probably want to swap on that one. Ooh, hurt by the Rocky Helmet, though. Hmm, maybe I'll throw a ball here. I do have I do have the Ultra Ball, so here we go. Dapper Kirby says bus AM FM radio at 6:30 AM. It's different. <laughs> do you ever listen to like Radio Disney? <laughs> That's the that was the one uh, where I was growing up. It was just like, oh, can we listen to Radio Disney, bus driver? That's what it was for me. <laughs> and the bus driver was just like, uh, okay, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Ah, uh, very nice, Xerox. Very nice. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. So we get, we did in fact get the Hone Edge. Very good. We have a male Hone Edge. Um, let's see. Let's make it. I declare this will be our. Let's just do Aegislash. Let's just let's just do Aegislash. So yeah, we have the 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 fully evolved Aegislash. What um what is our Aegislash nickname? I am open to suggestions, everybody. Attacker says, you do know that we're talking about Star Champ, right? Isn't the techie person supposed to be smart? Oof. <laughs> That's a little mean, Tiger. Star Champ is very smart. Star Champ is incredibly smart. Uh, you mean he says, your buses have radio? Yeah. My, well, I mean, mine did. Yeah. <laughs> uh, ooh. <laughs> Xerox is redeemed. Go grind, Lids. You got it, Xerox. No problem. Um, I'll, I'll, as soon as I get this Aegis slash nickname, I'll go grind a level real fast. Thanks for, thanks for the redemption. Um... <laughs> Polter slice. That's pretty good. 
ow, 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 ow the edge. <laughs> I see, I see you, SBS. Um, hmm. Hmm. What can I, what can I, I would say, what did we have? Because we have one, we have a hone edge. Oh, that's right, we have Excalibur. <laughs> can we come up with more funny sword, sword ghost puns <laughs> to, to make a theme? Um,. Well, uh, I mean, Polter Slice would work. Polter Slice and Excalibur. Uh, that's another sword pun. I kind of like, what's a sword name pun? Ooh, uh, redeemed nickname of Pokemon. Uh, Xerix redeemed, uh, wait, uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, just to be clear, Xerix. I would say you redeemed nickname of Pokemon. Um, what, uh, what do you want to name it? <laughs> I was gonna say it doesn't quite work that way, Xerox, because there's too many suggestions. I gotta, I gotta pick one. <laughs> if there's a specific name that you want, uh, that you want me to, to name it, uh, you could use that. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> that's uh, that's a very that's a very wholesome way to try and use the redemption, though. I appreciate it. Um, <laughs> booty. Oh my goodness, SPS. <laughs> Uh, let's see, let's see. I'm trying to think. I do, I do like Polter Slice. Um, yeah, that that is pretty good. Yeah, I agree, Tiger. I agree. I was gonna say I'll go with that one unless unless Xerox has something that that they want to use for that uh, points redemption. Yeah, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. If that's cool with you, Xerox. But thank you for the redemption, though. <laughs> no worries, Xerox. Uh, I was gonna say, uh, uh, hey, Star Champ, will you um, will you refund Xerox the 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 tokens? Can you? I think you can do that, right, Star Champ? Um, if you if you, because I, I think you've done that before. If you want to give them their their tokens back, just uh, just you know, because <laughs> uh, they didn't quite uh, understand how it works, that is not a problem. I, I think they should have their tokens back for that one. But yeah, we'll go with Polter Slice. That works. Polter Slice. Okay, cool. So that's taken care of. Let's do the the castle real fast. Well, real fast, I say, is it's going to take like nine hours. Thank you, Star Champ. Appreciate it. The entrance fee will be a thousand poke dollars per person. You've got to be kidding! It costs money to go inside. You see, the owner of the palace follows this school of thought that you can never have too much money. Yeesh! That's how the rich get richer. Here's your entrance fee. The proceeds from the entrance fee help pay for repairing and restoring the palace, probably. <laughs> that is admittedly a funny gag. <laughs> you would have recommended sword. <laughs> well, hey, if you, if you if you suggest it, and as long as it's not a nickname that we already have, I usually take it. So no worries, Zerek. There's always there's always next time. Maybe maybe next time when it's uh, not so late for you. Then again, this is my usual stream time, so I guess that remains to be seen. Still though, <laughs> maybe when you're in a better headspace. Dapper Kirby says, "All oh, good, Star Champ. I refunded up. Hey, thanks, Dapper Kirby. Appreciate it." Uh, Sergeant says I've got a I've got to move to PC. Mobile doesn't have the option. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, uh, yeah. Dapper Kirby's got it. Dapper Kirby's a Dapper Kirby's a legend. SPS says expected someone uh, to throw out the master Master Sword as a name. Yeah, I did. I feel like we didn't we talk about that at one point. I don't remember. Maybe it was when we were doing the Swords of Justice in black and white. It disappeared. Hey, Your Majesty, we should help look. I mean, if my if my Pokemon was missing, I'd be worried sick. I accidentally let me talk to her again. Oops. Uh, okay, yeah, so let's go and get Furfro. Uh, Casper says, not a pun, but it was going to suggest Karuma. Ooh, that would be very good, Casper. That would have been a good one. <laughs> There's always next time. There's always next time. Oh, Excalibur. Oh, these are good. These are really good. We'll have to keep these in mind whenever we get around to catching that, because uh, we still need Dublade. Um, we still need Dublade. We got. We already had uh, Hoenn Edge, and now we have Aegislash. But we still need Dublade, so we will we will keep these in in the back pocket for sure for certain.
We got ourselves the cut cut HM, which is of course uh, a thing you always want to do while you're here. And let's play Furfru games. Please don't run away. Your Majesty, give me a hand. You got it, girl. The path over there leads to a dead end. Let's split up, chase Furfro, and corner it. I'll keep it. I'll keep it from getting away. So pick a spot for me to stand somewhere like over there. Over there. Let me know when you've decided where I should stand. You got it, girl. I think he says nobody liked like Swish as a name. Oh, Swish as a name would be kind of funny, actually. <laughs> Swish. Oh, Swish. I get it. Oh, that's really clever, Yubi. That's really clever. I, I like that a lot, actually. <laughs> Swish is like an actual name. That's cute. Wait, wait, hold on. Okay, Shauna, stay here. Yeah, Shay, stay here. Okay. Hey, your majesty, are we close to corner yet? Maybe it would be better if I waited over there. Yes. Follow me. Yeah, no, that would that would have been a good one. That would have been a good one. Like I said, keep it in the back pocket just in case just in case we uh we have the opportunity to to utilize it in the future. That's uh that's good stuff right there. Uh, Dapper Kirby says, ah, yes, because the far-fetched hunt in Jota was so much fun. I know, right, Dapper Kirby? <laughs> we caught it because the, uh, you understand how Pokemon feel. Oh, you did say it? I just missed it? Yeah, I guess I just missed it. Uh, chat's bumping, so yeah, I, I do miss messages from time to time. I wish I'd seen it, though, Yubi. I wish I'd seen it. But it's okay. It's okay. We'll keep it in mind. We'll keep it in mind. Oh, my dear Furfru, my beloved Furfru. Could you be too? Could you two be responsible for my wonderful reunion with my dear Furfru? How wonderful indeed! It's marvelous, simply marvelous. A situation like this demands fireworks. We shall put on a show. Boom, boom! My Pokémon and I are reunited. Our bond has been proven. We'll be, we'll commemorate this joyous occasion with a tremendous fireworks display. And it will also serve as a reward for the tiny bit of trouble you went to. A rendezvous at the balcony. Do you understand? Rendezvous. You can reach the balcony from the halls with mirrors on the second floor. Uh, Sergeant says, uh, so you gonna go fight the scary dog? Wait, scary, scary dogs. I'm confused. I'm so confused. I'm so confused, aren't you? <laughs> okay, so yeah, yeah, very active chat. <laughs> Your arrogance has been proven. Oh my goodness. <laughs> No, I mean it's it's obviously it's like it, we we have a smaller community here, but um, you know it it does sometimes when a lot of people are 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 talking in the chat, it can be a little bit difficult to uh to, for me to keep up sometimes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, good stuff. Anyways, let's go watch this during the day fireworks show. It's good stuff. All right, where? Oh wait, can I remember how to actually get there? Is it just this way? Oh wait, no, it's right here. Cool. We good. We got it. Oh, the oh, that's right. The the danger dogs. Yeah, I do remember them, Star Champ. Yeah, the uh, <laughs> the the couple that had the two fur fruit. I do remember that. I do remember that. Um, maybe I'll go find. Admittedly, like they are entirely optional, so I could just entirely skip them. <laughs> it's not a terrible idea, frankly. I think. I mean. How much, how much does everybody want me to go fight those two? I don't have any fighting moves. <laughs> so I could very well get bodied if I go and try that fight. Xerix says, my man is rich. If it doesn't know, fireworks should always be at night. I know it's true, Xerix. I always find the scene really funny during the day. We haven't seen them yet, but I know I'll never forget these fireworks because I watched them with you, Lids. There's a oh also yay void <laughs> yay emulator glitch. There's a there's a there's a double battle that you can go and do on route uh, on route six Xerix that um is an infamous Nuzlocke ender. Uh, so just Shauna super gay for lids holds her hand all. <laughs> I like it. Wow, that was amazing. I never ever want to forget this, so I'll keep this memory in the and the album in my heart. Dapper Kirby says, "What a worthless cutscene!" Oh, come on, it's 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 all right. It's it's kind of cute. And that was my wonderful fireworks show for my fur fru. 
I assume you're satisfied with that. I, you assume wrong. Oh, I almost forgot. The poke flute. That's right. We need the flute to wake up Snorlax. <sighs> the poke flute, huh? Go and get it. It was Shabano Castle's treasure, but I took it as payment for a loan. A rich guy like me and a common person like that just don't go together. Give it to them. Here's the poke flute. Listen well, you two. Always return what you borrow. That's very important. I want to make lots of memories on my journey, but I think I'll try and forget about him. You can't imagine how stressful running this place is for him. That may be so, but... Oh, that's right. Mr. Butler, do you know anything about Mega Evolution? I remember reading a book on the subject at the Palace Library. It had something to do with how what, how you'd now call a trainer holding a mysterious stone high and making Pokemon evolve even further. Also, it's not much, but I'd like you to have this. Hey, we get Protect. We love Protect here. One of my favorite moves. <laughs> you all know that. Protect blocks opposing Pokemon's moves, but if you use it many times in a row, the chances of it not working increase. If you'll excuse me, I shall take my leave. Yumi says, really? It's just Gen 1 nostalgia of the game hidden behind a new region? It's kind of true, though. <laughs> it's kind of true. We have to be sure to give the flute back after we wake up Starlax. Alright, we off. We off. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll probably go ahead and do the little wake up Snorlax cutscene. That's probably where I'm going to call call it for end of stream today. Uh, I was going to say, I know it feels like we haven't really made a whole lot of progress, but that's just because of like this fat chunk of time that goes between um, that goes between uh, uh, gyms one and two. <laughs> um, hopefully we should get as far as Grant uh, in the next stream, which is tomorrow. But um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get there when we get there. Let's uh, let's take care of this real fast. Am I fighting that couple or no? I'm kind of leaning towards no, honestly, because, like, I feel like they will actually, like, screw me up. I don't have any, like, good moves against them, so. Amy says Radiant Forest, Gen 1 Starters, Flute for Snorlax, all before Gem 2. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know, it's crazy. Very, very heavy on the Kanto fan service, Yumi, absolutely. Dapper Kirby says, Callus is just Sinnoh's plot with Kanto's aesthetics. Yeah, that's a good way to put it, Dapper Kirby, frankly. <laughs> oh, it's you two. Did you actually manage to borrow the polka flute? Thanks. Oh, you're the only one who can play it, right? Snorlax can be grumpy when it wakes up. It might attack. I'll play the flute right now, but are you ready to stop it? Uh, hold on, yeah. Maybe I should make sure I'm good and ready for that. Um, let's go... We have Toxic, yeah. Well, well, I was going to say, technically the Snorlax would be an encounter, but we have a Snorlax, so we, d we can't actually catch it. So we're just going to, um, we're just going to Toxic it and let it go down. <laughs> oh, cool. Awesome, Xerix. Yeah, uh, I stream at uh, 11.30 a.m. Uh, Pacific time uh, every single day, so uh, whatever that equates to for you. Um, but so yeah, if you're if you're available, feel free to pop on in. <laughs> Zerix says, I'm surprised the bridge isn't, isn't broken. That's a good point. Yeah, that must be a really sturdy bridge. Okay, so yeah, we got the Snorlax. Let's drop a Toxic on it. Oh, immunity? Hello? Okay, well, so much for that plan. Um, Let's see. What do we do instead, then? Strength. Nice try on the lick there, Snorlax. Ooh, very nice. We get the crit off of the off of the lovins. Very nice. Ooh, hang in there, Citra. Ooh, we got a berry, orange berry, citrus berry, citrus berry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Snorlax is ready for my schemes. Lydia says SBS. It's true. It's true. <laughs> I forgot it got immunity. <laughs> All right, Starlax is down. We got another crit. Ooh, Delcati loves me so much. <laughs> I wonder where that Starlax went. Think it'll come sleep here again?
Oh. The only thing I could do with that poker flute is put it on display, but you've been playing since you were little, and this tone is lovely. It seems like Furfur also likes the sound of that flute. Not as much as it likes my beautiful, wonderful fireworks, of course. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Still, your playing sounded better back in the day. I'll let you take care of that flute, so be sure to practice more. Was that supposed to be an attempt to patch things up? Well, whatever. All's well that ends well. I wonder what lies past where Snorlax was sleeping. Okay, so, yes, this is, in fact, where I am going to go ahead and wrap up for the day. So, yeah, thank you, everybody, for coming today. I appreciate it. Um, like I said, like I was saying, I will be back with some more Pokemon Y tomorrow at 11 a.m. Pacific time. So, if you're interested in keeping up with the challenge, we will be picking it up there. If you haven't already, um, checked out the uh, Foreverlock Discord. That's where we track all of our progress for this long, ongoing project. So, uh, definitely check that out. Use the command exclamation Discord if you're interested in following the challenge. Uh, keep an eye out as well for an announcement later on today because the new Battle Decks uh, uh, reference is going to be uh, available sometime this evening. Uh, I'm excited to show it off for you guys, and uh, let me look, give me some feedback. Let me know what you guys think of it. I would really appreciate it. So, uh, yeah, that'll be done soon. And, yeah, so uh, I will see y'all tomorrow. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you soon. So, bye, everyone! <laughs>